Ah, yes. First episode, boys. Here it is. Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. This is our, our first step into this D&D territory. This is technically pretty much the first time we played it. We had a little practice, barely practice run through years barely. ago. Barely. But uh, through the power of our uh, charity stream, you guys pushed it forward and said, yeah. make it happen. So thank you guys for making it happen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is the first time we ever played it. We told Tech Smith is our DM. He's amazing at what he. Uh, we planned it all out with him. He's amazing at what he does. Perfect storytelling. Uh, it's very focused on the role play side of it, mm -hmm. and he's taking care of all the stuff in the background when it comes to numbers and magic and jumbo. So we can just focus on the fun and the interaction and all that. Thank you guys for the tits, subs, tits, and bits the whole time. We're gonna let it play, and then uh, maybe right after we'll we'll discuss it, talk about it. Huh? Yeah, sounds uh, good. We'll go. Well, we'll do the shoutouts and subs and all that stuff after we do the uh, the uh, the D &D session. Yes, that's uh, a long one, boys. So get comfortable. Yeah, it's a long one. So get your snackies. Let me make sure I have audio here. All right, that sounds good. I'm Scott. D&D &D is okay. finally here, boys. Episode. <laughs> okay. Woo. Okay. We're here we ready. go. Uh, just playing the video. So here we go. Here it is. Here it comes. Episode one starts now. Thank you guys so much. And uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. And uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. So yeah. here we go. Without further ado, episode zero slash, I guess it's more episode one. Here it is. Welcome to a world fashioned entirely out of improvisational thought. Follow the journey of these outcasted adventurers on a quest to redeem themselves. Just on the White Knight with his mighty bonker. Lloyd the Young Cleric on his pursuit of ultimate divinity. Damion the Half-Dark Elf with his trusty bow. And Techsmith, the Dungeon Master, the voice of tomorrow. Obstacles may stand in their way, so it's up to this band of idiots to use their skills, charisma, and friendship to claim victory. Unfortunately, they are incredibly stupid and will probably screw it all up. Now, grab your dice. It's time to roll it out. Ah, yes, the time has come. D&D is finally here, boys. Episode zero. Uh, we unlocked mm. this with our charity stream. Yeah. So thank you all for making that charity stream such a goddamn success. It's the best community on Twitch. The best. Now, uh, with the power of the Djibouti Show and our voice of tomorrow, our dungeon master, Texman, we shall tell a tale so legendary... So stick around and find out. May the voice of tomorrow take it away. The voice in the sky. Thank you kindly. Greetings, mortals. I am the great voice of tomorrow. But to many people, I am simply known as the voice. There are those who worship me, and those who fear me, and those who refuse to believe that I exist. For a select few, they can actually hear me, and to them I give advice, and sometimes I inform them of the future, because to me, all of this is history. It's all already happened, and we're just revisiting or reliving it. It's almost like a history book or an ancient fable. And so, without further ado, let us begin by opening the book and reading this great adventure. Our heroes lived in the world called Brise. It's much like your standard fantasy fair. There are forests and mystical and magical creatures, enchanted lakes and eternal elves. There are mountain ranges that reached impossibly high into the sky. There were valleys and fields, rivers and oceans, deserts and savannas. And there were a large number of cities for each of the mortal races. And they all had their power struggles, their years of prosperity and their years of strife. But there was one fact that every walk of life knew. East of the crossroads was death. 
The crossroads was the most eastern city in existence. All roads from it went west, because to go east of the crossroads is to die. The crossroads was an enormous city of all mortal races, survived in by only the strongest, tested constantly from the horrors that came from the east. Because what lies east of the crossroads is simply known as the uncharted lands. A mist prevents anyone from seeing what it looks like. Some say it's a forest, others say a desert, but no one has ever gone into the uncharted lands and returned. So no one really knows. Our heroes will find their way eventually to the crossroads. Destiny calls to them even though they may not hear it yet. For now though, we will follow them as they find their way to the crossroads where destiny will find them and thrust upon them the path to greatness. Here we see a vast woodlands. This is the Inglewood Forest. There are a few low hills, but the tree canopy is bright and open. We can see through to the forest floor in many places and eventually we come across a long, wide road that is poorly traveled as it is barely visible from the surrounding foliage. This part of the woods is generally safe from monsters, and more commonly it is plagued by bandits and highwaymen. As we follow the road, we happen upon our three heroes, riding horses along this road. They are headed southeast on a quest that has taken them far, far away from home. And we meet our heroes for the first time. The first is the man with the quest. A man who might otherwise be handsome if it weren't for his awful haircut. Lloyd E. Pops. <laughs> but his friends just call him Pops. <laughs> a young, up-and-coming cleric studying the domain of life. His life to this point was not easy. Lloyd spent his early priesthood being told to stay away from all women, being ridiculed by his friends for his unfortunate haircut. And he was also cursed with getting erections during public speaking engagements. Nonetheless, Lloyd stayed loyal to the guidance of Selun, the greater deity of life and goddess of the moon. And he excelled enough to be raised from priest to cleric, which was rare for someone so young. So with his white oak staff in hand and the scripture of Selun nearby, Lloyd set off on a quest to learn the immensely powerful spell True Resurrection from a Master Cleric. He hasn't told anyone why he wants to learn this incredibly powerful resurrection spell, but in time, the reason will make itself known. His traveling companion for most of the journey has been the White Knight Juston. The infamous ex-protector of the Bonkaroth Kingdom, he is one of the few men strong enough to wield a mighty bonk hammer, a weapon known far and wide to be a signature weapon of strength. For reasons unknown, Juston was exiled from the Bonkaroth Kingdom. Some speculate he was just too strong or too brash. Others say perhaps he failed to protect the royal family when they needed him most. One time, I heard someone say that Juston became so impatient with the politics of the kingdom that he took his frustrations out on the king's favorite horse, killing the stallion with a single swing of his hammer. But no one knows the true story. Regardless, Juston now seeks redemption to get back on his feet, claim honor, and prove himself worthy to his people yet again. And as such, he has agreed to protect Lloyd on his sure-to-be-dangerous quest to learn this powerful resurrection spell. Now, these two men are making their way through the nefariously confusing and winding sacred wood of Inglewood. This forest consumes the unwitting, causing them to venture in circles for weeks until starvation or bandits take advantage of them. So to that end, they have hired an expert to guide them through the woods. This individual is the half-dark elf ranger, Damion, an extremely skilled archer from this very forest. He has the blood of two opposing elvish tribes flowing through his veins, the wood elf and the dark elf. 
Rejected by the Wood Elves at a young age, Damion learned to embrace his dark elf heritage and the lifestyle that comes with it, doing whatever it takes to secure that gold and survive. Often an outcast, he teams up with other adventurers if the pay is right, using his stealth to stalk his enemies and his accuracy to swiftly take out his targets, he has become one of the most dangerous dark elves in the land. Damion has but one goal. He longs to find the rest of his dark elf race and his dark elvish mother, and he won't let anything or anyone get in the way of finding his mama. And we see this, our trio of heroes walking through the barely beaten roads of the dangerous Inglewood Forest. When a man walks out of the woods beside the road and flangs them down and says, Oi there, travelers. Might I trouble you for some assistance? Hey, hey, hey. Back up. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I meant no offense. I meant no offense. Just on. Not so brash. This man needs help. We don't know who he is or what he might want. What do you want? My, my friend, he's been hurt over in the bushes over there. He's hurt? I was what? One, what happened? He, he twisted his leg, re something real fierce, and, and he needs some he needs some help. I thought I'd help him, but I'd probably just make it worse. Twisted his leg doing what? Um... I think I've heard of this trick before. Trick? Running. Mm. He, was, he sprained like, his he ankle. Was, he sprained his ankle, something fierce. Oh, I can help him with mm. that. I got the touch, dude. Fellas, be weary. The forest of Inglewood is filled with a bunch of people who might try to kill you. You know these woods better than anyone. Does and this man mean us harm? I don't know. It could be some kind of trick. Hmm. But we should maybe Boy, I, I think I recognize you. Now, you, Mr. Mr. Elf there, are oh, you me? from these parts? Yes, I am from the forest of Inglewood. Oh, who, who are uh, you? Oh, me? I'm uh, I, uh, Jim. Just Jim. Name's just Jim. Well, just Jim. Oh, I don't know a just Jim. Just because you don't know someone doesn't give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah, this true. Man needs help. That's true. That's true. That's true. I'm just warning everyone that these forests are this is mystical. Just Jim, where's your friend? This Damion fellow knows the woods better than you and I. Perhaps true. he can roll to see if this man is indeed telling the truth, or perhaps this is another trick of the forest. I think, I think that sounds like a great plan. Uh, Mr. Damion, why don't you roll a dice? If you roll over a 12, you may gain insight into this individual's true motivation. Okay. If I roll over a 12, I'm going to grill his ass and find out. <laughs> Just enthusiastically pretend to swing your arm and I shall click the roll button for you, friend. Yeah. Claggity, 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 <laughs> clack, kaboom! Uh, the uh, dice, they roll. Uh, well, ooh. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. Good luck, guys. <laughs> you, can't, you can't read him at all. This guy is shifty as hell. Oh. You, you can't get a reading on it. Oh, mm. my friend, he's just over here. He's just over here in the woods. Maybe you could come and heal him a little bit okay, and then make okay. him feel better. Let's let the cleric boy have a turn at some healing spells. It's what he's after so goddamn bad. But true. just know this, Jim. If you are indeed lying, you shall taste the sweet Hard one ton steel of my bunker. Oh, I oh you've got a my, you've got a bunker. Uh, yes, just Jim. Uh, a, a ton is a lot, so uh, he will bash you. Yes, uh, if you do, you know, betray him. Yeah. But as a, a sworn cleric of the life, I shall bestow your friend the healing touch of a cleric. Well, I appreciate that very much. Now you're gonna have to get off your horses. It's a thick bramble on the way over there. You don't want your horses getting all cut thick up bramble. on the way to help. I'm wearing barefoot. Oh yeah, he doesn't uh, have shoes on. Oh gross. Well, it helps me commune with the spirits. <laughs> all right, maybe your your friend there could put down the bunker, leave it with the horse, and just carry you over. Yeah. You won't need the bunker. There's no combat. Yeah, just, it's just, just strap you to your back and let's go. I should yeah. be. Strong enough, perhaps you could jump on my back and I don't need to put my bonker down. Mm. Maybe a roll of my great strength should prove if I am so strong I could do such a thing. I believe I think you. that sounds excellent. <laughs> but I think so. Well, then I will roll. Um, I have to beat 
A 10. You're pretty strong. Beat a 10. This isn't... Gotta, just got to beat a 10. Don't beef it. All right. Here I go. Man on my back, bonker in my hand. Here I come! Let's fucking go! Just on! Oh, damn! Just on! Natty 20 carries the shit out of that bonker. Fucking doesn't even notice. Lloyd hopping onto his back. <laughs> oh, I yeah, holy so shit. Ah, well done. <laughs> well done, Justin. Well done. Why do you smell like celery and sage? I haven't brushed my uh, armpits in quite a while. We've been venturing for quite smell a minute. Smell god awful. <laughs> you two adventurers are Dude, real your, close. Your lats are massive. I am quite strong. The young, innocent boy <laughs> Lloyd jumps on my back. Let us yeah. go into the bramble and find your weak friend of weak ankles. See what we can do. Oh, 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 all right there. Oh, boy, you can really carry him good. Oh, oh, all right, he's just he's over here. Hey, just Jim, um, question for you. Oh, of course, Master Cleric. Uh, I'm seeing, uh, just taking a look at you. Uh, are you a poor fella by chance? Boy, I ain't got much means to get by in life. I do most of my hunting here in the forest and try to try to catch a grouse for dinner for my family. Ah. I've got 14 children. A huntsman who has 14 kids. Hmm. Bless your wife or whatever you have in this forest. It, 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 it's a wife. She's mostly she's she's uh, she's blessed with the hips that just won't quit. Oh, oh I've heard that. Before. All right. I I've know heard that. <laughs> Jim, I uh, also have a question for you. Oh, of course. I've probably got an answer for you. Have you seen any wood elves around this this forest? Well, oh, uh. Not many wood elves uh, like to spend time with me. I'm rather dirty, and I'm usually out here killing the beast that they love so much, so the, the wood elves don't much take kind of me. Okay, boys, the coast is clear. It's cool? It's cool. Is all he right. a cool guy? Because yeah. uh, he's killing all these animals, and uh, apparently wood elves don't like him, so, I mean... You know what? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm a good person. I just, I'm a little down on my luck, and my friend's twisted his ankle. Fellas, fuck wood elves. We're going with Jim. We're going with Jim. All right. All right, Jim. I don't know how much longer I can keep this idiot on my back. Show me the friend, and we shall do the clerical spell and see what we can do for you. And uh, just on, just so you know, I've had a lot of mutton and ale, so it might get a little fumey on Is the ride. Is that rhino. you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. I told you it smelled awful the second yeah. he jumped on I thought on the it. forest just smelled different this time. I don't know what you clerics are all about. But it about, smells. We're all about boozing and drinking meat. Sage and drink meat. spices and sages. Can't you yeah. learn any spells to make you smell better? Uh, that's a druid thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a druid thing. They the, the flowery druids, they make their way through here every now and then. They but smell real the nice. The druids are strange. You've all, we've all heard what they're all about. If, uh, if oh, I can be yeah. frank about druids, just a bunch of pot-smoking vegans, if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you might want to be careful. Yeah, oh, there. You're back to your wife. There. I mean, oh. They like I playing mean, different roles, if you know what I mean. They like switching oh, it up. They do. Oh. I mean, I mean, you didn't hear from me. There's lots of druids in the forest here, so I didn't say that. Good. Well, all right, then. Well, where's your friend at? Oh, he's just he's just a little bit further through here, just a little way. Don't worry. How now, bad what was the spring? Because uh, I don't hear shit. Was, Oh, uh, yeah, I don't I'm hear, sure. I don't hear him wailing out yeah. pain or anything. We've oh, been no, for some time. Just, I'm sure you'll hear him in a second, right? Oh, oh, oh she sounds like he's in pain. Sounds like there he is. Pain. I hear him. Sounds like he's in a great deal of pain. Um, now the order that you guys are going in, he's kind of leading the way. Mm -hmm. You guys are following behind him. What's the? Or, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, Lloyd is on just Han's back. Mm -hmm. um, Damian, are you in front of them or behind yes, them? Yes, I'm guiding them. I'm you're in okay. The, you're leading. I'm leading. Okay. Mm. All right, then, Lloyd. I will ask you to roll a perception check. You will need to roll above a fourteen. 
trusty eyes of life give me sight perception ah! check and you roll and wait who's rolling i'm rolling Her. for perception <laughs> okay yep i thought <gasps> uh, nothing yeah. Oh, well, nothing. It's maybe, just a, uh, at that moment. Maybe just, Damien mm. should be uh, keeping yeah, an eye. My, <laughs> my dark elvish eyes might be able to see a little bit more better than mm. that. Let me get a roll. Clackety, clackety, Bonkers clackety. rather big. What do I see? He got Damien. Mm. That's roll. enough. That's enough for Damien because he's quite perceptive. And Ow. as you guys are walking, Damien, you hear the telltale sound of like. That you know is a bowstring being drawn from behind you guys. Hmm. I hear bowstrings. Everybody down. Bowstrings like a band? Bowstring. Don't tell me about get down. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> do you guys get down or? Do we roll, do we roll for it? I, I, I am completely befuddled and I'm on my, uh, my, yeah. my uh, gar bodyguard. Back. I cover the small Lloydy boy and I cover him with my chainmail armor. We drop down to the ground and I tell them we're Low. in the forest of Inglewood. There are many, many different creatures out here with bows and arrows that might try to shoot you at any given moment. We're not safe. Get down. What I do? So I think <laughs> as, uh, as Justin, you kind of reach up behind you and try to cover Lloyd's ass with your, with your mailed gauntlet. Um, an arrow strikes your hand <gasps> and it deals <laughs> 10 damage to your Fuck. hand. Told you to get down. As a crossbow bolt blasts into your hand that would have gone straight into Lloyd's ass. Oh. Crossbows! <laughs> Fuck! Thanks for blocking that for me. Ouch! <laughs> Took 10 damage for your candy what ass. What a friend! <laughs> taking, a, fucking ass. taking an arrow for your homie. <laughs> Doing his job. Uh, um, and uh, then. Um, J uh, just Jim turned his like, or there's there's must be ruffians about. Let's hurry up to my friend. Help him! Help and he, he kind of and he starts kind of running running towards his friend further in into the woods kind of thing. Oh, great voice! I have a question. Being the yes dark elf that I am, I heard where the bowstring was coming from, and I try to shoot in that direction. Ooh. Am I able to roll to see what happens? Absolutely. This is a challenging roll. You can roll, and if you get above a 14, 14. you will strike 14. true. It's a challenging shot. You didn't even see it. You're um, just firing off a set. I like hearing it. Hey, That's I'm, pretty impressive. I'm in my element, baby. I'm taking that roll. He's used to these woods. Let's go. These are my woods, roll. baby. Roll. <laughs> Damien, the half dark elf. Roll. Come on, come on. Oh! So close. A 13. 13. I don't know what happened, guys. Normally, I'm really accurate. I miss. I miss. I'm Damn pretty it. sure you hit something. My hand is bleeding. Just, I, think, <laughs> I think that's just that, like, the, the arrow goes off, like, exactly in the direction that the that the crossbow bolt comes from. And you hear someone go, Bleh! way off in the distance. So you, you nicked something, <gasps> but it wasn't a full hit. I think I grazed them for it, boys what do we do you would know that squeal more than any of us what was that sound that sounds a fucking human <laughs> it was a really a, a big bitch of a human he's screaming yeah. let's go and pursue him should have known um and that's when uh jim turns around and he's got a crossbow loaded and he points it at you he's like all right everybody just stop there right there i knew it Okay, Jim. Fuck. Jim, real quick. You're a real yeah. asshole, you know that. I'm just trying to make a living. I'm just trying to get by. All right, we got to put our hands up. What are we doing, y'all? My hand is bleeding. I shut yeah, up, you well, big baby. And I put my hands upon his hand, uh, Justin's hands, and I attempt to heal his wound. I have 10 missing hit points. <sighs> I try to tell y'all this forest is rough out here. It's crazy. And we have, uh, we have 20 ooh. total. Uh, you guys, I mean, you guys actually have, uh, you got a little bit more than 20 total. You're, you're looking at more like, uh, 50. Oh, um, okay. Okay. You got, you guys, you guys, I, you, I started you guys off at level 10. Ooh, oh, um, oh, wow. Power yes. level. Thanks. Oh. Uh, uh. Exactly. So you guys, you guys got a good chunk of health, okay. um, so that I can really wail away at you guys eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, you can roll to heal. 
It just needs to be above a nine. Come on. Just on by hey. the power of life of the seven rays. I shall grant you life's energy full. Give it to me, boy. See ya. Huh. Oh, I hope you're strong in magic, cleric. I, uh, I just... kind of finger his wound. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, ow, 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 I'm just kind of like it worse. fingers kind just kind of going in and out. Get of, off of me! I'm trying to help. I'm trying my best. Get what kind of, off of me! What kind of cleric is this? Hey, it's a lot harder to heal wounds than you think. I never tried it. Jeez. Oh, all right, all right, everybody, calm down oh, now. Shit. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Put yeah. your hands up. Oh, oh, okay, okay, all right, calm what down. What do you want, you vagabond bitch? You I don't some... want much. Ouch. I don't want much. Want don't some, worry. Some gold. What you I, want? Oh yeah. I oh, obviously I want your gold, and uh, I'll I'll also be taking your horses. What? Uh, shit. And uh, maybe that big bunker there. Maybe I'll take that too. No, give the bunker, no, give the bunker, no. Give, the give it up. Give it up. No Who one touches it? the bunker. Or else, Boy, no, if you listen. want the bunker, then we can fight for it. They don't call me Cutthroat Jim for nothing. I cut Jim. many a. Th uh, well, that was a lie. I fooled you with my clever lie. That's why they call me Cutthroat Jim. I bet your I'll, wife I'll call is you, disappointed. I'll call you just Cutthroat Jim. Does okay. that work? Don't shoot me. Uh, I kind of like that. Okay, I kind of cool. like All that. Right. <laughs> now, uh, now, you guys don't make any sudden moves. I've got my friend <laughs> Cutthroat Tim. Cutthroat Tim in the forest back there. Fuck. And there's Cutthroat Slim over, over pretending to have. Slim! Get over here! You're, you're, you, we don't need you pretending to be all injured anymore. And uh, then there's can I, uh, just can to I the eyeball, side. Uh, Slim Jim. I'm uh, yeah, absolutely. Can yeah, I give him a girl Slim Jim? and see how he looks and if there's anything on him? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Roll, uh, roll a dice. Uh, anything above Wait, a ten. Wait, what is we'll this technique that you're doing? I'm perceiving him for uh, any type of equipment that might give us a tactical advantage during combat. Uh, yeah, sizing yeah, absolutely. him up. I size him up. Then. I see. Roll the dice. I uh, with my Anything eyes. Anything over a ten. I perceive. Oh, <gasps> the dice. Ooh. Oh. Damn. Ouch. The dice, the are dice not on were side. not with them today. <laughs> they're not. They're not. I he's, still had a nat twenty. He's a. Uh, he's pretty <laughs> greasy. And you got a yeah. hole in your hand too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, and then, and uh, so he's got Cutthroat Jim, Cutthroat Tim, Cutthroat Slim, and then he points to, like, a, a really, really runty-looking guy, just short and stumpy and obviously kind of misshapen. He's like, and that's Mim, and he ain't cut a throat yet, but we're thart, we're thartin' to start stinking with you. Hmm. Wait. They're, they're farting, boys. They're farting. We're farting. Wait. Well, we're starting to th thinking to start with you. That's the way. Yeah. You guys Him? have any bright ideas? I have one idea. What's that? I could try to outsmart him. I am known for my charisma, fellas. And right. these are my woods. It's his elements, his woods. They said they know him. If they've seen him around, maybe we could, maybe we could do something about Just that. Just on, I've seen you bash a man's head like a melon. <laughs> True. If you think, uh, you know, our new elfish friend can, uh, you know, handle this. I'm gonna let you take charge of this. All right, we'll let him try something, and if it fails, then I'll just try to fucking whirlwind our way out of this yeah, with just, the swing of the bonker. Just kill him. Just try to kill him. All right. That'll be a last resort. Yeah, let's try to talk him off the cliff. Okay. All right. Hopefully, they didn't hear any of that. Yes. Well, are you guys plotting over no, there? No, no plotting. Don't be ridiculous. No, 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 it's fine. Stay no, still. We're movement. just gonna cut. Fine, it's fine. All right. Listen, cutthroat Jim, cutthroat Slim, and all you motherfuckers, listen to me. I know these woods, All right. okay? The longer and longer we wait in these woods, the more and more there's a possibility that the wood elves might come through and kill all of us and take all of our shit. So if you're gonna do something right now, you might as well, and oh. I try to ambush oh. him, and I roll for that. A charismatic punch. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nine? A nine? Hey, that's, that's totally enough. He was not fucking ready at all. The, the charisma, <laughs> the charisma. You fucking punch him Shit. for 15 damage. Woo! Wow. You knocked his ass. I didn't even Ow. need the bow. That hurt more than the arrow went through my hand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, he fucking crumples like he goes down like a sack of shit what a bitch and hey, what? welcome to the inglewood forest bitch right to the chin 
But perhaps he had some sort of status bump because he's in his home element. Perhaps it was yes. a home game toss. <laughs> I just feel good. I feel better here. Um, and you hear uh, Tim and Slim just fucking run like they just take off into the forest. Yeah, and then um, yeah. think about that and cut your cut your cut. Yeah, cut you. That'll show them. If I see any of you Ims ever again, I am bonking you on sight. And, and then we'll remember their faces. Oh, well, no, it, one it, of it, them it, is Tim, still Jim. here. <gasps> Jim, 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 Jim is still Mim. unconscious. Jim is unconscious, and Mim, the weird little misshapen, runty, drooling, misshapen, sorry excuse for a human, is kind of holding this weird little knife and kind of drooling. Like, hey, I'm going to cut your throat. Uh, hey, and, Justin, uh, uh, can you bash this halfling in the head? Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave this one to you, Justin. I think now's about the time. It's been quite a few minutes since I had bonked something and squished it entirely into a flattened pancake. But before you make him a pancake, a Johnny cake, can I bestow a blessing upon you to really smite some righteous fury to this ugly son of a gun? It would help me swing it because my hand is still bleeding. <laughs> yeah. And I keep all touching you did it. was touch it last time. I keep touching it with my dirty hand. Your stinky hand. But that's only making it worse. <laughs> All right, so a roll of a blessing of hands for my hands, and then, your hand, and then I can swing it. Lord yeah. bless these hands. Bless that my roll? hands so I may swing this thing, Popo. The, Come on. The, the blessing has to be above an eight. Mm, oh, that's, that's not too high of a blessing. Think Just you can do it? It's not too high. Just on with You've got this, a pretty good look at that hand. With Come this on. blessing, your hammer will smite righteous fury into these heathens who deceived us on the greatest adventure of our lives. Hi! Yeah, bless you, bitch. The dice, they roll. Uh, oh, nice, nice big blessing. Casting. Well done. Very Don't nice. mind me. Now I grab my bonker with both hands, strong as grip as ever, and I begin to swing. Uh, what's the roll on this one? I need. <laughs> You will need to roll above a 10, but you get to roll twice and take the higher of the two. <laughs> You're welcome, by that the way. That looks like a wow. strike of wind fury. <laughs> Cleric fury is bestowed upon me. Yeah, what yeah. a buff. Yeah. Hey, grab the dice. Can I throw? Ha! Bash him. Bash him. Ooh, a 12. That's good. 12 is good. Can we beat it? Can we get a crit? Show me that fatty daddy. Can we daddy. get a crit? Come on, come Show on, come me on, that come fatty daddy. Yeah. I grab it with both hands. Hey. We'll go with the 12. Okay, the 12 is still good. The 12 I, I strikes stand true. I above the little freakling Mim, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm still on yeah. his back, right? That's right. You absolutely <laughs> still are on his back. back. <laughs> Such strength. <laughs> and I say, well, Mim, it was nice knowing you, little fuck face. <laughs> now, please. Help. And I bonk him right on the head. You bashed and, your skull in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think uh, at the last second, you realize that all your anger and all your fury at having been deceived is maybe not, shouldn't be directed at this one poor, misshapen little individual. He and as the hammer of, comes down. He looks kind of old and misshapen, guys. I actually felt, the only time I felt bad was mid-swing. Yeah, now that, he, now that he's bonked. I don't know if we should have done that, guys. Now he's even shorter than he was before. Yeah, it kind of looks like an yeah. old pug. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah. really small. I, I, Did we help I out his face at I all? I didn't realize how old looking he was <laughs> until I got right up in there and planted my both feet for a, a I swing. thought you were going to hit the, the one that deceived us. What the fuck? Well, he's, they ran away, right? Mim's the only one left. Is fucking drooling here with his holding his dull little butter knife. I, I thought you were gonna hit the that. guy. I thought you're gonna kill him. If you're not, if you're gonna uh, bomb, did him, I? might as well kill him. Did I? I don't know. <laughs> I, I was did. just gonna say. So you he hit looks like Mim. He might be dead. I don't know. Uh, Tell please me. kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you hit you hit Mim for twenty fucking damage, Oof. and like you did you did way too much damage. Yeah. Like. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't enough to kill him, but it was way more than you should have done. 
And so he's like on the ground, his legs kind of kicking in the dirt. He's like, <laughs> 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 I feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Put him out of his misery. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I mean, no, no, the me. the clerics are so soft. Kill me. I jump off of Justin's back and I touch him to try to restore some of his pain. Ah, Jeez, you're gonna do that? Okay. I feel sorry for the guy. He just tried to rob us. Hey, Damien, imagine being this guy. For your I life. was this guy grew up in this forest <laughs> and then just on the fucking glimmer of fucking righteous fury comes in and let's bespose the most righteous blows upon his head it was a mighty swing it was a good swing <laughs> my feet were planted at it least was... it, I pushed them an inch into the dirt and yeah. got a real twist to my hips the, the wind up kill me okay, 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 kill me okay, okay, either heal kill him or heal him yeah, I'm gonna, come on I'm gonna try okay to but if some you heal him and he ends up being an asshole I'm balking him again and we're going through this again. I'll handle it. I'll make sure he's a good guy. Once he sees, you know, the the mercy of the life, he will okay. he will he'll change I, his I mean, way. He is okay. almost dead, so it's gonna take quite a spell. And guys, he was gonna join a cutthroat gang. This might be the moment where he changes for good. Or lesson learned: Don't join a if gang. If that's what you see in life. him, <laughs> it would take something pretty mighty healy to heal him, though, right? I try to heal yeah. him. Pops, you put you your can hands. roll to heal, but put it will take a roll of above 13 to save him from death's door. That's a big roll. Holy cleric boy, you really think you could pull that off? Let's see what you got. As the life force channels through my hands, I, I remember all my priesthood training that transcended me into a cleric. I bestow a hand of healing upon his wounds. Eetsia! And you roll! <laughs> The dice. Mm. Oh, it's a net! Oh, oh, shit! Yeah. Matty point, Matty point, Matty point, Matty point! <laughs> oh, fuck! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> well done! Well oh, done! My God! God damn! I've never seen Holy someone get healed so much. Shit. It looks like he's at least two feet taller than what I'm. I was gonna God say. Damn. Now he's handsome. Look at him. Yeah, he gets up. He gets up, and like this light of renewed rejuvenation enters his eyes, and he stands up, and he stands up taller than he was before. He's now a grown man's height, his and it's kind of upsetting. His face starts to kind of like uh, uncollapse from the uh, from the bonkening as, as and as it uncollapses he's fucking gorgeous. Wow. He's this incredibly handsome man. You and he literally really says, are a cleric well, worthy of learning that Arise, my child. Well done, How cleric. do you feel? Well done. Wow. I feel amazing. I can not Thank you, good cleric, sir. I feel fantastic. How did you even do that? Through purity of light and the goodness of all mankind. That's how, my child. I, I feel like my whole life has been changed. Uh, uh, should I? Uh, what, please, Master Cleric, te teach me. Uh, what should I do with my life? I feel like I, I shouldn't be a cutthroat anymore. Cast away your evil doing. Do good. Be charitable. I and join your local church and give tithes as well. Don't forget to give tithes. I, I will. I will do all of this, good master cleric. Your name was was. Did I? I, I thought I heard my friends. Your name was Lloyd. I I heard him say. <laughs> you could just call me Pops. It's it's cool. Grand Master Cleric Pops, I shall spread the word of your glory far and wide through Inglewood. Thank you. And I'll I'll go hunt down uh, Jim and Tim and Slim, and I'll go cut their throats. Before you leave, why yes. did you join such a cutthroat gang? Yeah, what's the matter with you? Well, when I was growing up, I had a bit of a tough time. On account of my looks, not many people wanted to be my friend. I, I didn't can, do I well in why. school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, it was it was tough. I was I was quite an ugly ugly bugger. And well, Jim kind of took me in and taught me the ways of highwaymen and banditry, and it was a way to make ends meet. So the ugly just... ones are always the easiest to manipulate. Tis true. It's 
It's so a true. Big true. They'll do any anything so long as you look at them. I I just wanted to feel the touch of another human. I just wanted to feel love. And you did, my child. The warm touch of Sarah. Yeah, divine light. Mim, you're pretty tough. When I bonked you, uh, just as the hammer was coming down, you know, I saw that little bit of innocence in you. I have to say, that's why I didn't full on bring the hammer down. It felt it, you know, it did feel like you pretty much full on hit me though. I, like that I, hurt I, I really, I really, have, really yeah, bad. Yeah, understandable. It, Not many people it have felt survived like this a full on hit. It, it, I could, yeah, yeah. Man, do you're you mind, pretty tough, man. Do you mind standing right there while I consult my uh, two adventure friends here? Absolutely. Anything you say, absolutely, no problem. Okay. Don't listen. Don't listen. Okay, I'll plug Boys. my ears. God damn, you smacked Boys. the Lord into that little fucker. That was amazing, Claire. Pretty good. <laughs> Boys, there's a saying that we say in the force of Inglewood, hmm. and that is, ain't shit free. Should we try to get something out of this healing? You I just changed him, you this guy's him, life. You told him to give tithes, but what about tithes to us? I like the way you guys think. As much cash out of this guy as possible. Ain't, I want to get some ale after this. Ain't yeah. shit free in the forest of Inglewood. Yeah. Can I start listening now? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Um, yes. yes. Um, uh, cleric? Excellent. Cleric? Uh, well, as the... <coughs> uh, as I have uh, bestowed such uh, life force through you, and uh, <laughs> you could probably, you know, go forth and procreate at this point. Absolutely. It was so altruistic of you to do that for no reason. It is. Within. It was so mm -hmm. wonderful mm -hmm. to just do that for me out of the goodness of your heart. Yeah. You're yeah. so pure. Yes. It just it, it gladdens yeah. my heart that's, that's, to that's just the, do thing. that that's for the me. Thing, yeah. Man. Yeah. A lot of stuff happens about that, and, and uh, a lot of stuff has a you know. Price. In, in, or, in order for me to do such goodness to others, it does bestow it upon you to yes. you know have some type of contribution to the good cause that we're trying to spread here do you see what we're trying to say how do you say uh, pay it for uh, Mim, if you bit. make a small donation going towards this young man's clerical yes. journey think of all the other people he'll be able to help just like you and we'll shout you out too sure oh we'll um, tell everyone at the tavern we saw mim and he's handsome hey damien didn't we find a couple of uh couple you hot know, wenches that were ready to fuck yeah they yes, were like they oh were <laughs> looking for a handsome guy they're looking for tough oh. adventurers and we're like oh we're so busy word uh, spreads around the woods really I'm just, quick i'm mm -hmm. just saying you know a small donation goes a long way True. my True. son but i mean it's just it's such a shame because I'm so hideous, they'll never lay with me. Oh, oh, oh woe is me. I, I wish I were an attractive man. Oh, my life would be so different if that were the case. Oh, he's doing that whole thing now. Listen, li li some there's no me, spell man. for that Listen one. to me, man. No, I'm going to try to cast a charismatic spell and try to gas him up. Okay. Um, let's try to gas <laughs> okay, him up. Yeah. Huh? Let's see if we can uh, boost his self-esteem here a little bit. A so spell let me of just gas say, up? Men, listen to me, man. Okay? These women uh, are yeah. out here. But they yeah. want somebody who's good looking, okay? And thanks to the okay. cleric over there, my boy Lloyd, aka Pops, you're looking yeah. good now. So you might what? as well try your luck and <gasps> bless us so we can bless you. I put some pomade on your hair when I, uh, crit, uh, you know, crit healed you, just so you know. Oh, shit. Think of the um, karma, Mim. Think of the karma. Think of it. Roll, roll a d20. There's no number to beat. This is like degree of success. So just roll the d20, okay. and we'll see how much you inspire new handsome Mim. <gasps> the dice. Huh? Ah! Ah! Oh. What is it? Which one is that? That's a critical <laughs> fail. That is, is a it? natural one. It looks like 13 to me. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. DM, wait a minute. I call DM. bullshit. It looks like it, but if you look clearly over in the other area, where yeah, it tells in you the, the number. It does say it does one. Say one. It uh, does say one. However, the 3D representation of the dice might be a little, <laughs> just a little uneven. Maybe the virtual table's a little uneven here. So how successful right is this gas up? <laughs> the the voice even... of tomorrow <laughs> sees both the 13 <laughs> and the one. And uh, I think you make him feel real bad at first, and mm -hmm. his whole just kind of demeanor just kind of sinks. And then as you kind of keep talking him up, he starts to kind of rise to it, and then he touches his face. He says, Oh! <gasps> 
I'm beautiful. It's different now. I'm gorgeous. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, confidence. Well, I feel like I could do anything. I'll, t I'll tell you what. I, I will, I will give you something. <gasps> I've got, uh, I've got these three gold coins that I took out of a pocket Ooh. of, of an old woman whose, whose throat Jim ripped out and let bleeding on the, th on the road. Oh. Um, so those are three good gold coins from an old lady. Um, I've got this potion of healing. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Heal. Yeah, we'll take yeah. all that. We'll take all that's that. That's good. Yeah, that's, he's, he's unreliable. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. Lloyd is totally unreliable. True. Yeah. I've got this weird note in my pocket that just, it, see, it doesn't seem to make any sense to, to me why I would have it. And I guess you could have it because it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, because you can't read and I can read. I've been reading my entire life. Oh. You can't read. He keeps books on him at all times. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. When see people this? look at this. Look at oh, the he's bringing out the book again. The I've book. read he's all He's bringing this out the giant book again. Several times. Almost as big as the bunker. Several times, Listen, dude. man, he, he brought goodness. out the book when I, he introduced himself to me as well. It's something he likes to show So just off, give, me, so give me all the stuff. Yep, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. It's dirty money, oh, but it's oh, money okay. nonetheless. Well, the way I see it is, it's righteously just that we get this uh, vagabonds turn the yeah, the bad money into yeah, good money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the goodness of what yes. we're trying to do. Dead lady throat spilling blood money I can't to fix good. That. <laughs> it's yes, we can. We take it. We use it for good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes, this that's how you lady fix bad would money. want her money to carry on and prosper. And uh, ugly dude. I mean, uh, handsome Unless dude. she was a piece of shit. I don't know. <laughs> well, then she got what she deserved. <laughs> then it's all fine. And you're going to feel really guilty carrying that murdered money. So, yeah. Like, get that yeah. murder money off your ugly, your newly handsome face mm -hmm. and give it to us, <gasps> ma'am. Yeah. You're doing so much for me. All right. Well, here's, here's, the, here's the three gold pieces. There's a little bit of blood on one of them, but I think you could probably rub that off. Um, here's the potion of healing. It will restore 10 hit points if you were to drink it. I, I grab everything out of his hands. I, I toss the healing potion to Damion and I take the rest. What? Oh, okay. No healing potion. I grab the healing potion from Damion and I drink it because my hand is still bleeding. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you can take uh, this. Where'd it go then? <laughs> Uh, so well. I drink the potion and that's it? Yep, yep. You, you drink the potion and it right. just does it. No Boys. roll, you just fucking drink it, Ooh. you get your fucking health Ten back. Nice. Points. Coming on back, my hand is healing up, boy. <laughs> now, yeah. shall Ooh. we continue down the road, boys? Yes, let's continue. We have to find our horses, right? It looks like that's we're going. Right. Or oh, what yeah. say you, voice of tomorrow? Yes, voice. We want to what's, get back on trail. What say you? It was at that point that the party thought to themselves, it's probably a good idea to go back to the horses and continue on our way. Carry me, just on. <laughs> no, I'm Amy. not carrying. <laughs> oh, he come on. Me. I already rolled for it. You can still hop on. We'll get out of the bramble and we'll get the fuck out of here. I climb on his massive back. He hops yeah, no, back no fucking problem. And there isn't even any blood on you because his hand stopped bleeding. Oh, thank nice. God. That was really gross. Yeah, I'm glad that potion worked. That actually paid off. That ugly fucker, man, he paid off. <laughs> you don't need to say it like that. Like, that was an ugly motherfucker. Let's just be real. We blessed his ass. Good. Did a big favor for him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you did put him hell through. You did put him through hell first. Uh, you did. You did his skull in. You did feel I mean, my wrath. <laughs> I thought you were gonna intimidate him, so that's why I blessed you. Um, and uh, so yeah, now now basically you have the three gold coins and this mysterious note that calls to you. A note. Well, read it. Do you want, get, you want me to read it? You know read how it, to read it. You guys, you sure you want me to read it? You carry that big ass book around, read it. Yeah. Let's play a game. What do you think it says, though? Hmm. I think it says, "Hey, read me right now." I don't know. It came from Mim, right? So, what if yeah. it's like his gross little diary or something, dude? A what if he's like under like freaky like foot elf stuff? Ew. What if what he's if like? What if it's like his weird like? <laughs> Weird at wood elf porn or something. Yeah, I know, like, right? What if there's some wood elf girl he's been obsessed with and it's like his little love journal to her, something creepy like that? Yo, I begin to read it. Yo, and wood elves are freaks. Yeah. <laughs> and as you read it, <clears throat> scribbled very horribly is. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her again today. She was bathing in the pool and I watched her for the whole time. I took a sniff of her clothes as they lie beside the pool. <laughs> and, then, and then you realize that on the other side of the paper is the real notes. It's a bunch um, of porn. 
on the other side of the of the note is the real note uh, that says, uh, for apparently no reason, the crossroads is the home of Master Ula Cotlands, Master Cleric, and knowledgeable in the ways of resurrection. Uh, hey, that's what you're after. No, flip it over. Not the not the porn part, but the it says something about resurrection. The resurrection. That's what thing. we're looking for. That's what you guys hired me for, right? I tuck the note into my uh, my uh, many robes, and I don't say anything. That's on the quest log. That's your <laughs> resurrection thing. And I just look at them and like, uh, we should get going. Yeah, let's I, go. I can keep guiding you through the forest, but maybe that might be a clue. Uh, I'm sure it's something. Yeah, I mean, but it's... I mean, it was from a crazy guy who murdered women. So, I and mean, he was into freaky like shit, like spying on chicks and stuff. There's only one way to find out. Um, okay, are you guys going to uh, continue on your merry way? Uh, I begin to trot off. Yeah, we 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 get out of the bramble. You hop off my back. We get back on the horses, and we're yep. continuing down the path where we were in the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Let's yep. do that. Um, you guys hop on the horses and you continue your way through the Inglewood forests with your master level guide who will definitely roll just to make sure that he doesn't accidentally get lost in his own woods Good and idea. needs to roll and beat a five. It's nothing too challenging. You know these woods pretty easily. Yeah, guys, I'm pretty, I mean, I know these woods like the back of my hand, but I'm a little, it's been a while. Let me just roll real quick, make sure we're not. Lost. Mm -hmm. would, yeah. would be wise. Oh. You do know where we are, right? No, yeah, totally. Don't worry about it, guys. We're, you don't we're seem fine. Super oh, yeah. fine. No, I've seen that tree before a tons good, of times. A decent roll. Yeah. 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 No problem. You and guys we're, don't we're get fine. lost. And sure enough, you make your way out of the Inglewood Forest. And it opens into a great uh, savanna. You end up in a, gra a vast grassland savanna which uh, some of you may know as the Baron's Lands. This is a vast savanna that was first discovered by an adventuring Baron named Gadon and his two loyal hounds. The land was named after him. And it was said that he pitched the first tent that became the crossroads. Pitched that first hmm. tent? There's a lot of history in these uh, cool. these hills, boys. Oh, we out that forest, are we in here? I'm just glad to be out of the forest. I hate it because if you don't know where you're going, it'll just, it's never ending. It's yeah, never we, ending. we really lucked out. My homie, he got lost in that forest for like 500 years. Yeah. Uh, question for the voice in the sky. How vast yes, are these- Yes, my child. How vast are these barrens? Do, do we, can we kind of see any like, any like milestones or, you know, anything that would, you know, kind of put us in the right direction? Uh, I feel like if you were to roll, perhaps I could gauge how much you see by what the dice decide. Uh, let's see if there's anything out there. Uh, <gasps> dice. You see, um, not not a lot. There's there's some grass. There's a couple of trees. Uh, yeah, trees, bushes. Do you see the trees? I see the trees and I the bushes. I can kind of make out some but There's a happy little tree over there, a nice little bush over there. Yeah, I think well. we're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of trees and grass in this community. Well, hey, the trees are all dispersed. It's mostly plains, mm -hmm. so not a whole lot of Tims, Mims, Bims, and Jims hiding behind foresty trees, at least. Let's hope not. Yeah, so I think we're all right. And far in the distance, you see a thin trail of smoke coming from off the beaten path. Smoke. Hmm. Well, we're out of the woods now, guys, so I'll leave it up to you. I got you through. Do we decide to keep following the path and follow the smoke? Just on? Smoke. Mm, every time I've seen smoke, it's been not so good. <laughs> Usually smoke is bad, unless it is a smoke signal and someone needs help. But look what helping did the first time we tried to help someone. I got some money. Hmm. I got my hand shot. Not really my style to help unless they paying up. <laughs> uh, uh, are you guys afraid of getting a little cuts and bruises on this adventure, or do you no, want to get into some? No, I know. Go for it. I mean, because if you guys want to go, you I calling can... me a sissy, Claire? I'm just saying, you guys wanted an adventure, and I'm taking you one. one Listen, right? I was hired to protect the cleric boy Lloydy here. If you want to inspect it, well, inspect it. You saw what I'm capable of. I mean, I was hired to guide you guys through the woods, but 
I might get a little extra payday, so I'll tag along. With a with a sniff under his breath, he uh, he begins trotting off without uh, you know listening to the rest of they have to say. Oh, there he goes. Oh shit! Oh, great. Okay, let's follow yeah. him. He's so self. He's so smug. We're going to the smoke. So smug. Ah, I smell the smoke from here. <laughs> um. Can so I, you guys. Yep. I was gonna say, can I do another perception roll? My elvish Absolutely. eyes to see what oh, might yeah. be off in the in the distance and see what is causing that smoke. Absolutely. Roll B to ten. It's pretty far away. Pretty far but away. But you do have okay. good elvish eyes. I got that 20, 20, 20 vision. Ah. Exactly. <gasps> it is <gasps> just burning. Just I, makes it. I'll oh, take heaven. that. As you guys are traveling down the road in the vast barrens lands. You, uh, you really just kind of use your weird, freaky, zoom-in elf vision to get a fucking binocular Ooh. look at this thing. And uh, Wait, as, as it kind of comes into focus. Uh, yeah, yeah, they his weird. Yeah, yeah. out of his head. <laughs> is that yeah. thing? What yeah. is that? They do that, yeah. Oh. So, it's something us dark elves can do. Oh, we can just, hold on, I, I can just... Hold on, let me... Do, Okay, uh, man, yeah, yeah, I just gotta un unhand him real quick. Okay. It's like that lady that sneezes too hard. Yeah, oh, just like oh, her, yeah. That's, 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 that's my auntie. That's my auntie. She's a dark elf. Uh, what do I see? Uh, you see a camp. Uh, it's it's a couple tents and a big fireplace. And it looks like just a, just a standard camp, like travelers set up camps. But as your vision is so good, you can kind of see it in relation to the nearby trees. Mm -hmm. And this, the tents are massive. They like no human would need a tent this big. And that fire is, it's like eight feet tall. It's a huge fire and huge tents. Your eyes keep getting bigger. You guys, it looked like a normal camp from a distance, but there's, that's some big ass tents and that's a huge fire. I don't know what we're dealing with. Wait, did you say big tents? Huge tents. Uh, if I think to myself, does that make sense with what the crossroads would potentially be? Um, I would make you roll, but I would say you would know pretty, uh, pretty naturally that the crossroads is quite large. It's like hundreds of buildings. They are tent-like, but the area that it covers is much bigger. It's, it's quite a large town. That could be part of the crossroads for all I know. Here's what I'm thinking, fellas. Large tents, there's large loot in those tents. Let's True. go see what's over there. Let's do it. Typical range, you're always thinking about the loot. I don't care how big the tent is, <laughs> my bonker is bigger. Well said, um, just I just stare at him holding his bonker. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's big. It's so is that let's a, yeah, go you wanna fall. go again? Okay, we're going, okay. Let us go. Um, it takes you, like, it was actually really far away. So it takes you, uh, between traveling on the road and it was already daytime, dealing with the, the imms, the, the cutthroats, and making your way out of the forest and across the savannah. It's now in past evening. It's kind, it's nighttime now. Like, there's no sunlight. It's very dark. And that fire is fucking huge. You're now close enough that you can see one massive figure lumbering around in the camp uh, as you sit there and look for a little while maybe you could all roll perception checks to see if you know what is walking around in the camp Damien you look dumbfounded I don't know if I've ever seen that big ass thing before let me roll to remember oh, I too shall roll it we shall oh, all roll whoa. okay all right. an eight what about an me? Eight from Damian. Here. Oh, a nineteen oh. from Justin. I can make my eyes bigger too, Elf. <laughs> I will That's see what I see with my eyes. That's impressive, human. I can kind of see something what you're seeing, <laughs> and you yeah. see a little bit of something. <laughs> yeah, my so. eyes got real big. I saw what Damian did earlier, and I try to replicate it. Yeah, you squeeze your eyes. It hurts a bit. Oh, um, oh that's not a good look. <laughs> Are you okay? Is that bullet wound still? Uh... I see a figure. Do you know what that is, though? Because I don't know what that is. What is um, it that I see? You see a half giant just kind of walking around in the camp, and he pulls open one of the one of the tents, and he reaches in and he pulls out 
He kind of drags out another half giant and he kind of points at this this piece of parchment that uh, that the half giant is trying to understand and he's kind of pointing at it like pointing like look 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 uh, and the other half giant is kind of like scratching his head like he doesn't understand and then you see a third half giant kind of come in like they've been woken up from this disturbance and they push the one with the map and sure enough shortly thereafter you see a brawl between these three half giants all kind of beating each other up kind of pushing each other around and I'm not gonna go. what you can't <laughs> really hear Dumb the words giants. <laughs> but Damion you hear one word that you find very interesting it's a name it's the name of another half giant who owes you some fucking money yo they're talking about a motherfucker that owes me money we got to go down there and question them i need my gold wait wait wait, wait how wait. much yeah gold? what are we talking here i'm not gonna get in a fight oh. with a bunch of half giants are you kidding me they're twice my size Re you must realize you will need our help hmm. there's no way you could take down that many half giants if it gets ugly you know what you guys drive a hard bargain but you helped me or I helped you. I, I need you to help me. I'll pay you handsomely if we get my money back. Oh, yeah? All right. What We're, do you think, fellas? I, I did whisper, get us to the forest. I, uh, I, I ride up to Justin. and I go, What do you think about this guy? And I'm like, I don't know. He seemed kind of cool. The woods were scary. And he shot an arrow that one time. It didn't hit anything. But it I, seemed like it probably could have if he tried harder. I can hear you guys. I have elvish ears. Uh, so maybe, uh, yeah. How much gold are we talking about here? Two uh, boys? It was a lot. It was it was a lot. A, a lot, lot of gold. <laughs> We're talking like a good amount for each and every one of us. I'll split it. I'm not stingy. He's right, driving a hard bargain. Psych. So long as we get in any trouble as I swing this thing, we can take down anything. I've taken down Half Giant before. I, I, I look just on dead in the eyes. I'm like, have you fought Half Giants before? Yes, I have fought them many a time. In the kingdom of Bonkeroth, we would have skirmishes. <clears throat> we would have mud wrestling. How about this, fellas? I'll shoot a couple arrows from long range and see if they hit and try to weaken them and get them ready you for you guys. You want to shoot guys. them from here? From here. So are you? if I hear you correctly... Damion. Yes. You want to ambush these fools? I'm trying to ambush them and try to weaken them for when we fight. You think you can sneak up on them on the dead of night with that giant flame over there? I'm known to be quite sneaky. Well, if that's the case, then you're going to have to have that uh, bow of yours enchanted with the holy light of purity. Could you? Could you enchant this Do real quick? Do the same enchantment that you did to my bonker that almost destroyed Mim. Do you think you could? Don't ruin this for me, bro. All and right. I, I grab his uh, his uh, short bow and I uh, try to enchant it with the the light that shall guide his <gasps> arrow. Hey, careful! Light. It's my favorite bow. A light arrow. All right, roll, and it has to beat a ten. <gasps> Shibia! Oh! oh! Oh, thanks, cleric. It was an eight. You know, it's really hard to enchant bows because it's there's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe okay. next time, just grab like but, just the arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. But you seem pretty confident in your uh, stealth you skills. You still? You still confident? I'm still confident. I mean, the arrow's a little warm now. I might still be able to do some damage. Could I roll to see if I can snipe them from here and do a little bit damage before we rush them? Damion, you will need to make two rolls. Two rolls. One to see if you can hit them okay. and one to see if you can stay hidden while ah. hitting them. Ooh, a I like, stealth check. I like that challenge. Now, I'll just say, you want to start combat now with a bunch of half giants? It's going to be some shit, boy. Mm. Are we sure we don't want to maybe go and just have us chat first? What's our Dave alternative? You're pretty content on uh, shooting these guys from afar. <laughs> they owe shoot me first? a bunch of gold. You guys well, all I'm saying, I can, I've wrestled one before, but I don't know how many more are going to come out of that fucking tent, that circus tent over there. You guys want to play it safe? I say maybe we get a little closer, see if we can uh, have a conversation, say, hey, we're passing by. Wow. I have an idea. How about you guys go down? And you, you know, shoot the shit, get get to know him a little bit. Oh. I'll cover you from afar, just in case it oh. goes south. A little Trojan horse tactic, if you will. Yes. I was going to say, if these big old half giants know the one that has the money, perhaps they would recognize you. 
that is why I must keep my distance. So you stay back. And also, uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, right? This is a this is a journey we're going on. Oh, please, Lloyd. An, an adventure, if you will. Please. I'm terrible at ranged. I can uh, maybe throw this stick <laughs> maybe like 10 yards. I don't know how you can throw that. that thing. It's quite curvy. I don't know how you can get a decent toss and out even of that. If it's you not did, really jabbing. Uh, I don't know how much damage that would do. It's just a stick. And, uh, you know, I, it, me me and Justin are kind of like a tag team thing because, like, he's like he's like the train, right? And I'm just like the conductor. You know, I'm the brains to his brawn. Okay, how about this, boys? If you're able to go down there and convince them to find out who owes me my money, I'll pay you even more. Uh, any names we should mention or any unmentionables, if you will? We're looking for a uh, voice. We're trying to get uh, information from this half giant that you owes you are, money. Right? You are looking for a half giant by the name named of Lou. Lou. Named We're Lou. looking for a big, ugly motherfucker, a big, dumb motherfucker named Lou. Named okay, Lou. and he, if he owes me money, if he's here, what do we do? Do we kill him? Do we uh, do we bash his head until he's a smithereen? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if he'll pay his debt. Okay. We'll see if All he'll right. pay it up without losing his life. So, uh, are you going to be close enough to eavesdrop in on this conversation? Oh, I can hear from here. I got these Elvis ears. Okay, so we need to come up with a code word in case shit goes bad. Good idea. Right, right, right. Um, uh, Your voice is much more screechier than mine. Perhaps you could scream out like banana or something like that. Pineapple! There you go. Pineapple. Got it. The second um, you guys say pineapple, I'm raining arrows down. I, I love holding the bonker, but for the sake of half giants, and I don't know how many are in the tent, I will holster it on my hip. Smart, smart. I keep just my, to look less threatening. I keep my book to my close to my chest and my staff in my hand, and I kind of ride, you know, pretty close to yeah, look, Justin if he takes off. Look more scholarly and less. I'm trying yeah. to learn how to do smite smells, smite spells that dude, kill half giants. Pacifism is my thing, dude. All right, keep it passive, and we'll keep it cool, and we'll ask about how they're doing. All, All right. right. Good luck, boys. And remember, pineapple. 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 Okay. All right. So we um, continue forward and approach the half giant camp. Are you trying to be stealthy or are you just, or are you being kind of announcing yourselves? How, how are you kind of, so these guys are busy beating the shit out of each other. Like one's got one in a headlock. Another one's kind of like pulled a burning stick out of the fire and is like poking it in the other guy's eye. Like they are really, they are going to town on each other. I'm getting, following your lead, dude. They're getting busy over there. Let's just, uh. You've fought we'll, these we'll, things before. We'll, we'll, we'll drive, we'll go on by on our horses, and as we approach, I'll uh, greet them and let them know that we're passing through. You'll be like, oh, hey, neighbor, what's going on? Yeah, I'll <laughs> give them a hey, neighbor. Do you guys need help passing <laughs> this, dude? You need some yeah. brown sugar. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right, sounds good. Um, uh, I'll <laughs> approach and ask if maybe perhaps he's committed crimes. Maybe they'd like me to take him away off to a kingdom. I can do something like that. Uh, and uh, judging by the size of these guys, uh, if I'm going to have to talk to him, I'm going to like, my, my ego is just going to destroy me. So you better do a lot of the talking. Okay. Here. Yeah, I can do that. All right. <laughs> um, okay. You approach uh, and you are kind of, as you kind of get closer, um, the guy in a headlock, like who's being headlocked, kind of looks up at you and he tries to like yell or say something, but his throat's kind of cut off. So he's like, eh, eh. and the other guys are just starting, we're just wailing away and they have not noticed you. Typical half giant. <laughs> uh, to which I say, hello, half giants. How are you today? And all three immediately stop what they were doing he, the guy lets go of uh, of the headlock the guy pulls the burning stick out of the other guy's eye they stand up straight and they are fucking tall when they stand up straight just looking and, at them are they pissed at us are they more inquisitive about us uh why don't you roll to try to glean their their way of looking at you they roll look and pretty <laughs> Above a 10. Mm, or 10. Ten, 10 works. Okay. It's not a good look. It's not a happy look. It's not, it doesn't fill you with uh, optimism the way they're looking at you. Uh, um, hello, neighbors. Uh, we come preaching the good word. Uh, yes, the good word. Um, <laughs> it is a beautiful day, I must say. I see you are busy, so we do not want to waste too much of your time. Right, right, right. Um, um, 
Well, uh, you, you beating up that one because he's a bad egg? Whoa. <laughs> um, the one that was getting beaten up kind of looks to the other two and says, Gork smash? And uh, the, the other two kind of uh, uh, look at him and they kind of wave their hands at him a little bit. And then they pick up clubs. When I say clubs, I mean basically trees. Just basically trees that, they, that they're holding. And they kind of lift them up, heft them onto their shoulders, and they start kind of slowly walking towards you. Uh, Gaston, uh, what's so going? I see you boys are busy. Uh, I was just passing by. Um, uh, we have a friendly acquaintance. Um, I believe he goes by the name Lou, and we were wondering if perchance he was here at this. Great friend of ours. He's a great guy. We love half totally giants. Totally cool. Half giants are great people. The, the, the best. Uh, gr amazing grog. Yeah. Love half giants. Smash good. Smash good. They smash things so good. <laughs> yes. I worked closely uh, with one in the kingdom of Bonkeroth. He was a good guy. I liked him. He was cool. A great time together. Anyways, do you know this Lou fellow? You know Lou? Uh, yes, we yeah. know Lou. <gasps> Pork know Lou too. Pork good. Pork good. Pork is good. Pork good. Pork know Lou. <laughs> yes. Pork my man. <laughs> Pork smash Lou. You smash Lou? Pork smash Lou. You me smash Lou. Is that a sex thing? Me smash uh, Lou. Me smash you? No, no. Um, you like Lou. It, uh, you smash Lou. You like Lou. You, you mad at Lou? Lou bad or Lou good? Lou, Lou bad. Lou, Lou bad. bad. Yeah, Lou bad. Lou bad. Lou's bad. Lou yeah. bad. Smash, pork smash Lou. Smash good. Yeah, yes. I bet you could. Very strong pork. They look in trouble. Mm. Uh, pork. You think, dude? Where have you seen Lou, pork? Where's the last time you saw Lou? Pork. Salu, and he holds up the piece of paper that looks like a map. He said, Lou here. Pork look for Lou. Damn. I start riding closer, feeling more confident that we've established some type of rapport. Yeah, um, really, yeah, you, yeah. You, yeah he's, he's kind of like holding the map up for you guys to read kind of thing. Okay. And the map, um, said, and the map says uh, the whereabouts? It, it, I mean, it's clearly a map, and he's kind of pointing to it, and he's saying, like, Lou here. Mm-hmm. Uh, how close are you getting there, Lloyd? I'm I'm feeling pretty confident in myself. I'm standing. I'm pretty much like I can read it from yeah. uh, standing from like an arms. You can my make, arms. You can reach. make that out. My arms. Yeah. Reach. Yeah. Uh, okay. Go ahead and uh, roll to try to read the map. Nice. Uh, you're pretty close. So you can use anything above a seven. You can you can read this thing. Typical half giant calligraphy. It's terrible to read. Uh, yeah, it's those stubby fingers. It must be hard to hold a pen. But I... oh, it it's too tough. It's like a, it's like a tw two year old trying to give directions home. <laughs> hey man, don't um, talk shit. He's right there. He's hey, I can't huge. read it. If I can't read it, I can't it's read it. Fucking huge. Hey, poor. Can you tell me where Lou is? And Pork kind of reaches out with a hand and kind of puts it on your shoulder. <gasps> and it kind of like it's it encompasses your whole arm kind of thing. This guy's fucking huge. Pork's good. Pork's good. <laughs> Pork's good. Good job, Pork. I pork like how you good. put that hand there. That's good hand Ooh, you got there, yes. Pork. Yes. Fantastic what, penmanship, what, I must say. What you, what you name? Uh, uh, me no Pork. Me like Pork. Me pop. My name is Juston, a uh, uh, great friend of all half giants. Pork like pop. Pork <laughs> not. Pork not say ja, just. Uh, pork not just say is just. Fine. Just. Just is fine. Okay. Pork like just. Wow, he's really pork grabbing like you. Pork like just he, and pop. He's really grabbing you really hard there, Lloyd. Yeah. He really is taking quite a liking. <laughs> he's pretty like strong. strong. He looks like he's about to crush Lloyd. <laughs> And uh, then the other guy, the guy that was in the headlock, uh, kind of walks up and puts his hand on Lloyd's other shoulder. Yeah. Oh, wow. And says, Gork wants smash. And, uh -huh. uh, and Pork says, Pork no, Pork no smash. Pork like pop. And the other guy says, Gork like smash. And Pork says, mm, Pork like smash too. Uh, and everyone, everyone <laughs> love uh, Lloyd. Lloyd's good. Pork cool. This guy's all right. We're all having a good time. Um, is you think we could have that paper where the 
Do you need the paper with Lou on it? Maybe no. you can talk to him about it. He's really strong. <laughs> Come on, you fucking head Just giants. Just ask them nice. They like you. Can I have the mail? Just give up the paper, you fucking mm. giants. Come on. Do you need that paper there? I um had uh, some grog earlier. Pork. I'd love to use it to wipe my beard. You don't need it, do you? Pork want trade. Uh, uh, what what do you want? Trade. Uh, what do you want? Trade. Pork. Mm. What would Pork you like? want pineapple. Pineapple? Pineapple! Fuck! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Damien, go ahead and roll to attack. It's got to be above a six, and you can okay. roll twice. Cool. I'm in you the are all position. sorts of set up. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, the, the three's not great. Hopefully okay. the second roll's better. <laughs> second roll oh, is a nine. That nine. hits. Oh. A nine. Okay. So you guys are standing there, and um, as, as Pork is trying to trade a pineapple for this map, you just hear this, like, as three arrows simultaneously <laughs> embed themselves in the temples of all three half giants. <laughs> and uh, Damion, you deal 15 damage to each giant. Wow. Okay. okay. Shocked. I like that. <laughs> Does it look like the damage is uh, pretty substantial? Or, yeah, do uh, they look injured from that or do they just shake that off? Uh, they look like they noticed it and that's about it. They noticed it. They noticed it. They, they all like, they all kind of like, it goes thunk, their heads kind of move a little bit and then they look at each other and then they start like fingering each other's head arrows a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Each time they do, they're like, ah, ooh, okay. ow. Okay, so while, while they're doing that, I run up and go, I heard somebody say pineapple, y'all need help? What are we doing? Are we fighting these guys or are we running? What do we do? Um, uh, we're just hanging out, having a good time. Say, Elf, did you see where the, an arrow came down? <laughs> did you know where it came from? I don't have any idea where it came from. No idea? Oh, wow. Well, that's crazy. We're just hanging out with Pork and Grog. Pork and Krog. And we're all having a good time, right, fellas? <laughs> oh, hey, you, nice to meet you guys. Y'all okay? Nice to meet you. Oh, that arrow looks bad. Oh, who could have done that? Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, we were just having fun hanging out, talking about giving us that, pe that paper they don't need just anymore. Just talking about pineapples. Where the location of Lou is. <laughs> oh, um, so <laughs> we need that fucking paper. Yeah. You guys say you about to trade for it? What are you about to trade for? Oh, no, well, Pops is in a two-man hold grip with these two, and we're just talking about pineapples. Help. Ooh, and that grip's getting strong. <laughs> because um, Pork, pork really wants, he really likes yeah. his fruits. Yeah, and I can tell they're in a lot of pain because their grip is getting harder and stronger. Yeah, <laughs> they've got big hands, and I don't know how much long he can hang in there, so we're just trying to get that paper from them because it says uh, the location of Lou. Shit. So, uh, unless you can pull a pineapple out of your ass with some sort of food conjuring can spell. What do I look like? A sorcerer? What do we, what the fuck are we doing? Do we, do we don't have a pineapple? Do? <laughs> you can't conjure food? Fuck. Well, um, do we have any food on us at all? I don't carry on pineapples. I'm completely incapable Lloyd, of checking my inventory. Yeah. <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd pops actually takes three damage, no! just incidental, as oh. these guys are like, they're kind of flicking each other's head arrows, and every time they do, it kind of hurts them, and they kind of jerk around a little bit and kind of crush a little bit. So, uh, pops is kind of taking incidental damage, as just as they're being very rough with him. Ah! That looks like it hurts. We should get him out of there. This is bad. Uh, so, fellas, um, I don't have. We we don't have a pineapple. Perhaps uh, you'd be willing to trade something else. Mm. Pork, come on, pork. You seem like a reasonable guy. Anything else you might want? Mm, pork, pork want pineapple or book. Mm. Pork, book. pork, pork, big reader. Pork, pork, pork like you book. read? Despite oh, all pork, the shocking. pork big reader. Despite, <laughs> despite all the pain I'm going through, I clinched the book harder than anything I've ever the clinched. The boy before. will never <laughs> give up the book. He will the never give up. Like read. Dude, he loves that fucking book. Um, what about we show you a trick? Um, our elven friend here has lots of agility. He can do backflips and stuff. Wouldn't you like to see that for a piece of paper? A trick for Ooh. a piece of paper. I'm real agile. Pork do like trick. 
Okay, okay. Pork give paper for okay. trick. All right, Pork, you're going to love this one. Check this out. I call okay, this one. I, 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 go, I go off and I'll, uh, we'll, we'll do the trick. We need to get a lot of space here. I walk off with Damien and I say to him, if this goes south, I'm swinging. The boy is dying in the grips of those two ah! trees. <laughs> I will be squeezed. able to swing my bonker and perhaps <laughs> take down one of them, but the other right. is much bigger. I grab just Ton by the shoulder. I say, listen, motherfucker, I'm going to do as many flips as I can, but if that doesn't save his ass, we got we to gotta fight these bitches. So let's That's do it. it. I'm just All saying, right. good, good, good luck. All right, oh. I called it. Pork, you watching? Pork watching. I call this a quadruple back double handspring special. And I roll to see if it. All is right, done. roll. It's got to be above a twelve. You're trying a crazy ass trick. All okay, right, here we go. Here it goes. Oh, Summer Dice. Olympics. Let's go. <gasps> oh, it was oh. so close. Oh. It was so close. On the third backhand spring, I fall <laughs> and I hurt my arm. I dislocate my shoulder. I say, ah. I, I put my hand on my hip to grab my bonker, but I see I wait for their response to the failed uh, trick. Pork, you like that one? Uh, and Pork uh, Pork starts trying to clap, but he's still holding on to Pops. He's uh, kind of like clapping, clapping Pops, Pops in the middle. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Lloyd. And uh, Pops takes six more damage for a total of nine damage taken. Uh, and uh, pork like pork like pork like, uh, but then there are the other ones like no gork not like gork not trade not not trade map. And he grabs the map out of pork's hand. Um, he says no pork keep this, and he starts walking back towards the camp. Not so fast. I see that the, the young cleric pops has taken too much damage. It is my job to protect this young man, and he's taken enough's enough. So I grab my bonker and I walk up to Grog. And I give him the eyes of the great Bonkeroth kingdom, as I say, not so bad. And I prep myself to swing and bonk him directly on the head. Bonk him okay. Up, a, a jump and a swing straight down. Okay. All right. Uh, roll, roll. So you are you trying to intimidate him, or do you want to actually fucking bonk I wanna this man? I want to knock him out and grab the paper. Okay, okay, roll uh, to hit is very easy because he's fucking enormous. So roll and get above a four. Oh, above a four. Come on, bonker, that's all we need. It's all up to you, Justin. I plant my feet in the ground. I squat down low, prepare my jump. I roll the dice. Come on. Help! Oh! This is exactly a four. You, oh my God. you very technically hit him. <laughs> oh, damn, that was close. <laughs> um, and like, I think, I think you thought you were jumping higher than you actually were, and so I think you actually just boink him uh, in the thigh. Oh shit! And I didn't get any <laughs> air at all. None at all. Fuck, I went nowhere. <laughs> oh, that jump. Oh, that chain mail weighed you down. It's so heavy. The tape is a hundred tons. Uh, so you hit Gork. Uh, or sorry, no, you hit Pork for 20 damage. Oh, I, uh, uh, oh wait, uh, Grog was the one who took the paper, right? And I swung on him? Yeah. Uh, oh, you. Oh, I see. Wait, yeah, so okay. Grog you took the paper and was like, Fuck you guys! I'm walking yeah. away. I walked yeah. up to him and said, "Not so fast!" and swung. So okay, okay. I went for the. So you I hit, went to you knock hit. out the guy with the paper. I got you. Okay, yeah. yeah. Then you hit you hit Grog, uh, right? I guess you hit him in the back of his thigh, kind of lower ass area, kind of thing. Smack him right in um, the ass. Why are you barking his yeah. ass? <laughs> Smack him right in his ass. <laughs> and like, there's like this thunderous slap of meat as the bonker just impacts his kind of gelatinous, flabby, lower ass muscle. It makes the bonker kind of shake. My hands are like wobbling. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Quit playing uh, smack ass, get me out of here! <laughs> um, <sighs> and he turns and looks at you um, with uh, curiosity. And he looks down at you at, and he says, <gasps> just bonk me <gasps> and, and i say um 
uh, it's sportsmanship. A little slap on the ass. I saw how you handled your friend Pork and all your buddies back there in that wrestling match you guys were having. I thought I'd get in Bonker Off Kingdom. That's what we do. A little smack on the ass is a bit of good sportsmanship. Good on you. Smart. Smart. Say, that's a nice oh, big uh, piece of paper you got there. Uh, why, why do you want that paper so bad? Bro, I'll wrestle you for a map. Let's fucking go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I still being held? Uh, you're still being held by the other guy. So, so uh, uh, por Pork is holding you. And now he's like, he's kind of almost got you up like a teddy bear at this point Aww. as he's just watching this. It's, it's an uncomfortably tight teddy bear hold though. It's, it's not comfortable. Um, but yeah, no. So Pork is holding you a little bit closer to the camp. Uh, Grog and Juston are about to fucking throw down in a wrestling match. Mm -hmm. the, the way this works is it's just going to be a roll off. We both roll D20s. The winner out wrestles the other guy. I roll up my sleeves and get ready for a good old fashioned half giant wrestling off. Let's do this. Oh shit. hell yeah! Oh man! Take off my gauntlet. I uh, I start whispering into Pork's ear and be like, you know, my dude has already fought a half giant and kicked his ass. I'm getting stretching. <gasps> you got this, just on. Is he going to myself he, up? Is he going to hurt Grog? Oh yeah, he's going to give him the sharpshooter, <gasps> dude. I start working the crowd a little bit. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah! Nervous hell, hell yeah. yeah! Nervous hell yes all around. <laughs> and uh, um, I'm fucking ready to go. Okay. I take, uh, I take roll like it. a hike position. I'm ready to like, <laughs> like, I'm ready to like yes, three point stance him. <laughs> yeah, all right. Roll to shoot in on him. All right. Grab my dice, plant my feet. I roll. Oh, Wait, what's going on? Oh, what's no! Going on? What's, going on? What's, what's going on? It's a dice off. What's going on? What's going on? It's a dice off. All right. We didn't see anything. What happened? I see so a 10 from I, you. I know. The two dice rolled. Okay. Now, I know the dice results because I can see ah. the oh. the uh, ah. the grand DM's side. <laughs> okay. So, lesson and learned. We can't both roll at the same time. It glitches out. <laughs> exactly. We have, to take, we have to really take turns. Uh, okay. Um, so it didn't go great for you. Okay. Um, you know what? We didn't see your, so that's my dice. That's the 10. I'll let you roll because we didn't see your dice. So it didn't count. Okay. Okay. So it's you generous. rolled a 10. So all I have to I do rolled is roll a 10. above you. You just have to roll above a 10, which is great because your other roll was a one. <laughs> okay. Oh, that would have been the end of me. Oh, I, pull, I plant my feet, get a little mud in between my fingers and I roll. <gasps> oh, oh my god. We're a perfect, we're a perfect clinch right now. Me and yeah, this guy. exactly. Just like so my Japanese it, anime. And you guys feel the ground shaking as we're Whoa. tossing and turning and shit. This is cool. You guys are like, oh, fuck. It's fucking earthquake shit going on. Just our hands. Yes. Exactly. Just this on, is like, just on. you got this. It's like some one punch man shit as like this fucking behemoth is bearing down on just Han, who is this tiny little man compared to him and is fucking holding him off. Damn strong. <laughs> it's like a baby fighting a full grown man. You put up a good fight, yeah. Rob. Come on. Oh, oh great voice. Rob Love Russell. Oh, great voice. Can I roll for uh, perception? Because I think I spot a weakness. <gasps> oh, Ooh. yes, you may roll to spot a weakness, but you will have to roll above an eight. An eight. All right. Dislocate his shoulder. Damien rolls the dice. Someone in my corner. <gasps> <gasps> Yo, his knee's buckling. Go for the knee. Knee's buckling. Yes. I think at that same time, Pork, who's been whispering with uh, Pops. He's been holding it. He's holding it like a baby. Cr cradling it. <laughs> yeah, his cradling pop kind of shouts out. He shouts, oh, watch out. Grog, he kill half giants. Be careful. Don't and worry, Pork. He'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, Justin, you make your roll at advantage. Roll twice. Take the higher of the two. All right. Oh. As I you're begin. going for the knees. We're in that full clinch, and I get ready for my half-giant signature wrestling move. Oh, uh, shit. Twist to the hips. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <sighs> oh, a 
two. All right. Okay, okay, that's, that's, the right. Second, that's, that's the mulligan. Get it out of the way. <laughs> Practice roll. Practice Let roll. me try to twist my hips the other way. Okay, a 12. 12. Now he's going to roll against you Whoa. to try to fight your shooting in on his, on his knees. Pork, but take twist the, the hips. hips towards his knees. <laughs> <laughs> what a uh, match! <laughs> He's got disadvantage. He has to roll twice and take the lower of the two because he just got yelled at by Pork. Okay. His first roll is a five. That's good. Okay, that's nice. It's nice. His second roll <laughs> ah, ah, ah. is a two. Hey! As you guys, yeah. <laughs> you guys witness just Han so small compared to the giant that is Grog and uh, just twists his hip, kind of fucking judo throws him and Grog goes flying up into the air and comes down with a thunderous crash that kind of all the dust on all the tents kind of gets shaken off in this anime style moment of the half giant being planted into the ground. Even pork, like, oh. that was a cool trick. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a trick. Uh, Told you, pork. pork actually, yeah, pork actually speaks up. Like, no kill, grog. No kill, grog. And he draw, he drops, uh, pops, just, just ah, drops him on the ground. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and he runs over and he starts helping uh, uh, grog up. And uh, and he and he hands you the the map. He's like, no kill Grog, no kill me, love Grog. Oh, I won't kill him. I just put a little hurting on him. He'll walk that off. Sad little puppy. And Grog's like, I think he killed me, Pork. I think he killed me. No, he's not dead. He's fine. It's just a little. I might be up. dead. I, offer, I don't know. I offer my hand and help pick him back up on his feet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Smack him on the ass again. Good game. And I give him a little <laughs> pat on the ass. <laughs> Um, yeah, he gets up. And, oh, we got oh, the map. Dead. I put my gauntlets back on. And Ooh. yeah, you have the map, and uh, they like they go back to the other guy who didn't even fucking kind of join in at all. <laughs> he just been sitting there uh, watching the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Drool drooling a little bit. <laughs> um, and uh, kind of like they have already completely lost interest in you and as as they're walking away you hear them talk telling this amazing story about how uh about how uh grok uh beat up this 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 famous gladiator well i mean if he could defeat a gladiator i mean it shows i'm pretty strong you know i've never and, seen and a, get... a regular human that be that strong before what can i say boys this is, there's something special about this one. I don't know what's, what's That's really going why on. I was hired for the job. Hold on, let me just. Ah! All right, we good. We good. So we hear him say that he def that the guy I beat up defeated a gladiator. And as as he keeps, you get the feeling he's talking about how he beat you up. Oh. <laughs> well, that's the thing about half giants. They're all liars. <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty simple. They're pretty simple. I get up, I dust myself off, and be like, "Are we done here, or do we get what we need?" We got the map. <laughs> we got the map, but I fucked my shoulder. Up. Proved my strength. He's got a rough shoulder. We're good to go. <sighs> okay, you know, wasn't that bad? Uh, hey, uh, pork. Uh, pork pops like uh, smash good, smash good. <gasps> pork smash good. Yeah. And he runs over and he slaps you in the shoulder. To try to set it right. <laughs> and he does. Oh, oh. nice. Yeah. Slaps it right back into place. Uh, yeah. Pork, Pork good. smash good. Uh, before we uh, traverse, uh, fine fellow half giants, uh, any word on your uh, half giant brother, Lou, by chance? <gasps> you smash Lou when you see Lou, Lou bad. Okay. Yes. We got the map. Sad. Everyone hates him. All right. Everybody hates this guy. You go to uh, Crossroad. Cleric, could you try to communicate with your new boyfriend here that we want to kill Lou as well? Get the gold back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pork. Um, me no like Lou. Lou bad. Uh, me smash Lou. Lou die. <gasps> okay. We we stop look for Lou. Lou die. You smash Lou. We. 
We we love we love pops. Pork good. Pork good. good. Uh, pork good. Pops good. Uh, pork I'm good hey. too. So what I did. Yeah I, I'm yeah, good. yeah yeah yeah. We pork, all good. I'm good too. We, we all good. <laughs> pork uh, crossroads. Where would be tavern? Good. <clears throat> Wenches. Ale. Oh. Crossroad, very good. Yes, crossroad, very good. Very uh, good. and I start pointing in just random yeah. directions, trying to mime like I don't know where I am. Yeah, every time you point in a direction, he nods his head and he says, "Yes, yes, very yes, good. Yes, yes, right, he good. has no idea what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, shit. Okay, is this a dead end, boys? Guess we'll just keep going down the path uh, who, we were going. Who has the map? Uh, uh, I was. Oh, yeah, I got it from him. Yeah. 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 Just Han got it. Yeah, I got it when I uh, wrestled him. I look at you and I point. I'm like, uh, should we figure out where that map is pointing us? Here, to? I'll, I'll give it to you and you read it. You I know would, how to read this. I stuff. would suggest giving it to the ranger because I. Oh yeah, you didn't know how to read it very well. Yeah. You want to try reading this shit? Yeah, I'll try to read it. All right. Mm, let me get a roll for that. Let's see if I can make sense of all of this. Is Just got to get above a, a five. Above a five? Yeah. It ain't too <laughs> hard to read. Now that it's up close and personal. Okay. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's off. I didn't even realize. I remember this spot. Oh, uh, I was looking at yeah, it upside down. Yes. That's not even my fault. Pops, you dummy. Okay, we okay. good. We good. Let me flip this shit around. Oh, Lou's not too far from here. Should we keep going? Well, I want that money, and mm. uh, I just got squished by a fucking pork. <laughs> but there's also <laughs> a really nice tavern along the Maybe way. Maybe he's at. Is it say he's at the tavern? I'm thinking we might have to hit this tavern. Might be yeah. that. Maybe people there would know as well. Yeah, so what are the plots on the map, Voice in the Sky? Yeah, so the map that you see is just a normal-ass map of the area with a big circle drawn around the crossroads that just says Lou and then a uh, question mark. Uh, sorry. Uh, wait. Sorry. Say that again. Sorry. Folks it's in the it's sky, literally right? just like a, it's just like a map of this area, and the, the crossroads is circled, and it just says Lou question mark. It's just it's just it, it's not a, 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 mm, it's not yeah, a yeah. special encrypted map. It's just a map to the crossroads of the area, and they think that Lou is at the crossroads. Well, boys, I mean the crossroads is a little far from here. I think we should maybe try to hit this tavern. I'm a little. Yeah. Parched from killing and pillaging and fighting all this all this time. Would Seeing be nice. as it's uh, getting late and uh, I hear the crossroads is pretty sketchy at night, uh, should we camp here or should we ride off into the night? Hmm. hmm. There are yeah, there are risks. Um, traveling through the night would mean that you would arrive with exhaustion, and everything you would do is at disadvantage. You'd have to roll twice and take the lower of the two numbers. Hmm. If you if you travel all night, also, Pops might not be able to do all his spells as he's uh he's used a couple spell slots yeah. and he, he's gonna need to get those back. Um, but if you camp here, you risk being attacked at night. Oof. Uh, we're we're far away from the the half giant camp now. Yeah, you guys have traveled a little ways okay. away from the half giant camp. Um. I'm tired and hungry. All oh, right, he's complaining. Let's yeah. we'll camp out here. Um, I don't know how to make a fire. Can you guys make a fire? Step aside. I've done it a million times. You don't know any fire spells? I'm some, not some again, cleric. I, just because I'm in a robe does not make me a sorcerer. I am not born with magic. I know how to bless people. Okay. I don't understand how it works. I don't understand how these clerics work. I All right. I just don't get it. Well, <sighs> uh, how about this? I'll work on the fire. You add to the quest log. That we're looking for the half giant Lou? Does that sound appropriate, voice in the sky? That sounds most just. Does that sound appropriate? That sounds like an appropriate quest to place on the quest log. As I take out my scroll that I keep hidden in my many robes, I begin to jot down plot points and uh, key notes to mark the history of this journey for me to remember. Uh, when I uh, begin my clerical uh, synopsis, my thesis, if you will. You're really writing Perfect. on that scroll. Can I see it? No, don't. Oh, come on. Let no me one see reads it. My notes. Oh, man. No one reads my many notes. Okay. Wow. And quotation L-E-W. Did we get a, you know, a correct naming convention for this Lou guy? Because I could just write whatever I want. Mm. Is it L-E-W? 
Or is it L? I, I believe it would. I would guess L E W. All right, I'm just making sure. Let's just write that. Mm-hmm. That's how all half giants spell it. All right, let it be written. Let it be sold. And yeah. he's a half giant. We can make stuff up. And yeah, we'll fuck, fuck, fuck him. Bump into him. <laughs> fuck him, dude. <laughs> all right, looks good on there. Ah, <sighs> very nice. Cool. So where's this fire? Um, do I need to roll for the fire? Uh, yeah, you definitely will need to roll for the fire. Uh, now, how good are you at making fires? Done it many seri- times. Okay, okay. So roll, just roll above uh, seven. Okay. Uh, yeah! I'm hungry. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. You'll yep, get it. Yeah, absolutely. You'll get your food. There you go. How about that? A nice big old fire. How's that feel? Wow, you just smashed rocks together. Yes. <laughs> did you see not what I did with my hips? Hey, uh, Damien, I'm very proud of uh, Justin for smashing rocks together. Hey, right? Yeah, good job. Yeah. We, could, we couldn't have done that. You proud. would freeze we to death have done if that. it weren't for me. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, mm-hmm. I wish I had some of the ingredients. I could whip up some of my famous dark elf gumbo, but oh well. Maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> I so. immediately just start sleeping. I don't even acknowledge these guys. I just like put my head under my uh, on top of my book and I just start snoring immediately. And I just um, I just begin replaying over exactly what we all saw earlier, just again, but in greater detail on how I thrusted my hips in such a fashion. Not many men can do that with such force to crush a half giant's very own kneecap yeah. and see it uh, yeah. before yeah. and yeah. having yeah. shatter the earth <laughs> under yeah. me. And having heard the story about ten Maybe 11 times by now, I'm just sitting there nodding along saying, yep, yep, that was cool. Yep, yep. And yep. I'm like, told you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you got him, dude. It was awesome. Yep, yep. Now, is anyone going to keep watch overnight? Or Not are me. you just going to assume that you're okay? Mm, I can keep watch for a little bit. Do uh, elves need to sleep? <laughs> um, that is this a good is a question. funny thing. Yeah. Technically, elves don't sleep. They do this weird meditation thing where they like sit very still with their eyes open, and they do like this meditation thing. Okay, okay, oh, got like it, witchers. got it, got it. Okay, so give Can me, like, like, oh, yeah. oh, give me, give me like five minutes. I'll be right with you. <laughs> is you know, he is he doing his thing again? He's doing that that shadow melody thing. Only elves can do it. They you stand know, there and kind of just everything becomes still. You know, I have a theory that he's actually asleep. He just sleeps standing, like sitting up. I think it's all a lie. <laughs> Well, I'm going to sleep. I don't give a shit. Oh, well. I'll watch him as long as I can before I eventually drift off to sleep as well. Which is only ten minutes, at, about five minutes after I say that. Mm-hmm. Meditation complete. Okay, I'm, we- I'm well rested for the night, boys. You guys can go to sleep. Night, Damien. I'm already asleep. Oh. <laughs> You're like, you guys can sleep, but we're you both... You guys can all- go to sleep. We're already asleep. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, they're, oh, that's how humans work. Okay. He goes, okay. He goes into a, a low... <laughs> Uh, just a, a meditative, awake, sleeping with one eye open state. Hold on. And he like watches over us. Yeah, he's like a dolphin. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, fish, they sleep while they yeah. swim. Or something like that. So That's what know. elves do, right? That's my basic earth biology. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> This exactly. is my meditation phase. <laughs> I'm completely knocked out, trying to rejuvenate my spell. Okay. So we sleep the night away, huh? Sleep the night away, and... Oh, yeah. Nothing Ooh. happens. Ah, oh, we get nothing really good happens. sleep. No nightmares, nothing. No nightmares and no no living mares either. Okay. No no so, re- IRL monsters trying to eat you while while the night passes by. Do and I as I am asleep as you guys are waking up, you just hear me kind of going <gasps> Princess <gasps> It wakes king, me up. It's so king, jarring. My, my king, shut up! I start jabbing him queen, with my, no, my stick. And I've been awake, so I'm just looking at him like. And then I wake up. Stop it! What's wrong with you? Nothing. What the fuck do you humans do when you're sleeping? What the fuck was that about? We Nothing. dream. <laughs> the hell's dreaming? I was dreaming of many battles and fights that I had, and all won every single one of them. That's all. Dreaming is like a wonderful <laughs> reality your brain enters. You think of wonderful things like your mom, or uh, you going to work naked. Sure. <laughs> Sounds weird as fuck to me, but okay. I tell you, these clerics really are strange. Yeah, look at his haircut. <laughs> what was that? Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Um, so get should ready. We, should we get going, boys? Everyone or? get ready. Shoot up. 
Oh, we're not gonna have breakfast. No, there's no breakfast. No food here. <laughs> Can you conjure up some breakfast, cleric? I'm not a sorcerer. I'm dead. I'm a cleric of life. Look around. There's nothing here. It's called the fucking barons. I dust myself off. I try to jump on my horse. All right. Uh, roll to jump on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these clerics can't jump for shit. I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait for the roll. Oh, you need a roll. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I was yeah. fixing something. Sorry, that's all. I just saw some frame skippage there. See I think we're good though. Oh, oh. Uh, not a not a clean mouth. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh. Oh. And your horse farts a little bit. I hate mornings. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Help um, me up. So I, I go over, pick him up, put him back okay, on yeah. his feet, and then I whisper in his ear, I, "Can you put me on the horse?" <laughs> I throw him on the horse. <laughs> All right, r roll to throw him. Okay, I'm gonna oh, roll the dice. Yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I throw him so high in the sky, he nearly yeah. becomes a blip in the clouds, and then comes flying down, landing on the horse. And the horse lets out a big <laughs> Well, damn, that was a nice blow. Yep. Impressive, human. Impressive. <laughs> All I needed was a good sleep, and now I'm ready to rock and roll, boys. Okay. All right, let's, shall we get going? Let's then? saddle up. Enough of that. Shall we, shall we get going now? Uh, Elf, do you want me to throw you on your horse too? No, no, I can manage. I'm fine. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys uh, mount up. You you uh, make your way down the road. And um, the tavern that was on the, um, on the map, you find out it's actually... Uh, part of the actual crossroads. The crossroads is so large that this tavern is actually part of the crossroads itself. Hmm. Uh, I, uh, I, you... I look over and glance at uh, Damien and I ask him, based off of the map, how far of a ride do you think this is? Uh, based off of the map, I mean, the crossroads are pretty, pretty large. We're just now getting to this tavern. It's right at the beginning of it. I'd say maybe a couple days ride. Hmm? Boys? voice in the sky is that how sound far accurate? would it be Mr. how far voice? would it be to, from to get at. to the yeah, yeah from where you're at on, to get to the tavern yeah based on the map oh, okay yeah. yeah based on the map if you were to ride hard all day you could actually make it there in a single day's travel we could get there by nightfall maybe have some nice ale maybe pull some wenches by the night uh, if we slowly trot over there and like a breezy and take a couple of bathroom breaks and no, uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have probably to. take it three days at that point. Yeah, we're gonna have to really be riding, boys. <sighs> okay. What well, do you guys say? Um, How hard do you want to push this thing? Well, you've hired me to help you with your clerical studies. And this if, is true. If I show my face again in Bonkeroth Kingdom, having sh taken a cleric on that journey so treacherous and dangerous i will have so much respect from my people do you think this is necessary for your learnings i'm going to be completely honest with you guys getting to the crossroads is super critical to this mission Very critical. Hmm. i need to get there okay sounds um, like it's that's dire our, that's our answer have you ever had ale I mean, I've smelt it a couple times, he's, you know. He's uh, underage. Some of the uh, oh. older clerics sneak it in. I mean, they're not supposed to. Let's get him fucked up. I think yeah, I, let's go. Let's I think go. I had a fake cleric ID. No, I think oh, we should I do it. it. I think we should do let's, it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. 
Okay, you guys are going to make your way to the tavern at the edge of the crossroads. Yes. Yep. Riding okay. hard. You ride hard all day. The road is not necessarily treacherous. The Baron's lands are quite open, quite easy of a ride, but the sun beats down all day. All you sweat through your clothes. And you all get a nasty case of swamp ass. Oh, oh I'm so glad I don't wear underwear. Oh, no. My underwear is made of metal. How do you think I feel? Chain mail and elf farts stink, boy. Oh. That's true. Whew. And eventually, as night falls, the sun hides behind the distant hills. You see ahead of you the lights of the entry to the crossroads. And... As I look at my book here and find where we are, you enter the crossroads. It is very large and sprawling, and it's not very well built for aesthetics. This is a function-built town made for keeping the rest of the world safe. There are function-built barracks and stronghouses. There are few places of leisure, such as the tavern or the fighting pit, pit or the inn, and everyone here looks like they would murder you. Some are rough and tumble folk from lowly ruffians to all the way to high warlords with entire bands that accompany them through the town. And the tavern you've been looking for is called the Plains Wind Inn. It sits squarely at the entrance of the crossroads. Wow. So these are the crossroads, huh, boys? Wow. I've heard so much about it. You know, this is a famous tavern. I've heard many tales, people speaking of stories of getting here and all mm-hmm. the women. I always uh, heard the great stories from the, the bone soldiers. I believe they were called the thugs. The bone thugs always talked about the great crossroads. Should we check out this tavern? I think so. It is famous. I'm pretty timid and intimidated by the uh, the aesthetic and all these brash ruffians. Uh, I ride close to Justin. I'm like, I just kind of quietly nod. And I'm feeling extra confident because it was yesterday that I had thrusted my hips and threw a half giant. And I threw <laughs> you so high in this morning. Oh, here he and goes I've been again. going nat 20s. Here he goes nat again. Nat 20s. Nat 20s. So I'm riding very confidently. Chest. Speaking with my chest. We'll let you I think, take uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, like that kind of pride that you ride with. Mm. Like, it's almost a bit of a challenge that some of the guys here see. Like, you're catching some eyes from the people here who see this kind of proud. I'm Ooh. so strong. I'm so tough. I did so good. They're all kind of eyeing you like, oh, yeah, really? Really? Do you want to do this? Kind just, of eyes at you. Just on. Quit looking so confident. They see my bonker, which is a famous signature weapon of Bonkeroth, and they see my prideful stance, and they're all intimidated. They're scared. Um, we just keep we keep riding through and sticking to our plan, and I'm just in, I'm enjoying the looks. Justin's okay. confidence uh, makes me uneasy, but I ride close because he's the only thing that's giving me strength <laughs> in this entire yeah. encounter. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yep. Absolutely. And you guys, uh, you ride through the town. And, okay. uh, I, yeah, well, I mean, like you're riding, you're riding a little, you're riding into, into town. It's, I mean, it's, it's a city in terms of its size. Cause it's so huge, okay. but nothing here looks like a city. Nothing is built nice. Nothing is built big. It's just like a sprawling camp. So if you call it a town, it's kind of a town. If you call it, okay. a ci- it's a city, it's kind of a city. And you make your way to the Plains Wind Inn. And as you enter the tavern, there's a heavy smell of tobacco and ale in here. The ground is kind of sticky and everybody is loud. Everyone is talking about this this fucking half giant they just threw. They thrust their hips into his knee and everybody's talking about this uh, giant dragon that they put in a headlock and this big beast that they fucking kicked in the balls so hard its head exploded. So everyone's fucking talking about these stories about how amazing they are in this tavern. It's very loud. Everybody's bumping into everybody. You get a bit of ale spilled on you as you make your way through. Hmm. Yo, cleric, be on the lookout here. Everybody in this place, 
probably gets off on killing people. There might be higher killers in this tavern. And there's so, always people who like getting clerics drunk, so be careful. So man. be on the lookout. It's something You're funny in, about seeing such a holy individual get drunk and I'm down a, and dirty and I'm maybe be, doing arm wrestling. I'm going to be honest with you, cleric, that haircut alone, that's a target on your back. Be careful they, in this tavern. What what I'm perceiving is them talking me up is actually making me more nervous and more of a wreck. I, I, <laughs> yeah. get, I get like that flop sweat. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, that's that's cool. Um, and then I, I immediately walk towards the bar. I, I kind of kind of swerve away from there and, toward and, the barkeep. And now we are in the tavern. We're in the bar. Yes. We're in the tavern. Yep, you're okay. in the tavern. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I immediately walk towards the barkeep. I don't even know who, what 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 this situation is. This is wow. completely foreign to me. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> and uh, um, yet yeah, you walk up to the bar and this this very large uh, you think she's a woman but it's kind of hard to tell because her nose is broad almost like kind of like a cow's nose and she's covered in fur um, and she's got like kind of weird weirdly big animal eyes um, and she kind of uh, looks over the bar she's not necessarily all that tall maybe like a tall human nothing weird or freaky um, and she looks over at you and she's like, Oh, hello there. What, what can I get for you? Well, good sir. I, I'm here to oh, find the- I'm a ma'am. I'm a ma'am. Oh, Claire, don't assume. That's a, uh, don't assume, Claire. Uh, I'm, a, I, I'm um, Lady, I'm Lady Toren. And, uh, Torrind. Uh, uh, to, 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 I to, awkwardly what, turn my back it. to her and I immediately look at Damien and I go, I don't know how to talk to women. Help me! And I look him dead in the eyes and I say, man, confidence, confidence. Just yes. look her in the eyes. What and do tell I say? Her, what do I say? Tell her she's a handsome woman. I turn around. You're a handsome madam, sir. Madam. Oh. Oh, that's. Jeez. I mean, I really just wanted to to serve you alcohol. I, oh, you know what? They, well. I shove mm. Lloyd and I say, ask for an ale, you fucking idiot. One ale, fucking idiot. Oh, uh, excuse, excuse me. I mean, not you, me. Excuse I'm the idiot. Excuse me. I, uh, I, I insert myself and it's a, excuse my little friend here. He um is going through a lot of clerical journey stuff. True. And it's heavy on his mind. Oh. He wishes to have an ale to soothe his mind. And I also walk cleric. up and try to defuse the situation even further. I put my hand on this giant woman's back and I say, hey, you want to be blessed? He could do it without a spell. Yeah. Look at my boy. Look uh, at my boy. I think yeah. Roll, uh, roll to kind of uh, uh, persuade her. To try roll. to seduce her a little bit. A, a little bit. A little bit. Roll. You got to be uh, okay. five. Okay. You're pretty. You're pretty fucking charismatic. I so. look over her giant nose, right into her eyes, and I say, "Look at my boy." Damon rolls. Oh, oh yeah. And yeah. then once I do that, I notice something leaking down her leg. She's wet. Are you injured, <laughs> Malady? <laughs> uh, she kind of like her, her kind of knees buckle a little bit, and she kind of catches herself on the bar. So, oh dear. Oh, I didn't. Oh, what can I get for you, my fine friend? I told you, Claire, the haircut. The haircut's gonna do. I begin scratching notes uh, in my little paper about like his technique and his approach <laughs> and the words he said, like directly, like the words he said. <laughs> wow. Word for word. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why don't I get you fine gentlemen some ale on the house? Yes, that's what I'm talking yes. about. Yes. I, uh, I I timidly don't know how cheersing work, and I'm just staring at them. I hold it up. Insisting. Point at it. Uh, Easy now. We clink. And we drink. We okay. drink. Does this taste good? I take one hit of it and I just start immediately like gagging, like profusely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is this crap? Oh, such a cleric thing to do, cleric. <laughs> oh, young innocent Lloydy. <laughs> I remember my <sighs> first day. Oh, God. It tastes like. Pee -pee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it goes down smooth after a while. Don't worry about it too keep, much. There, keep Lord. knocking these back, and you'll be hip thrusting those half giants in no time. Mm -hmm. I have to drink all of this. Think about it like this, cleric. The more and more you drink, 
the braver you get. Yes. Drink up. That you want to be confident like Damien here or tough like me, you better start fucking drinking. The peer pressure really <laughs> starts stacking on Pops, and he, he, knowing how the taste and how much he hates it, he drinks the whole thing in one shot. Good. Nice. Oh, oh, oh that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Ah. Oh, I feel bad. Another. Mm. Mm. More? Another one. And she sweeps the cups away and fills them all up and they come back full. <gasps> Excuse me, uh, oh great, big bitch. I'll be right back. I have to use the bathroom. Uh, of course, it's just, it's over there to the left. Uh, Amy, on, when you go to the bar, grab another one of those ales, please. Just, uh, I just want to say, I've never met someone with such a big Bonker before. I know, and it's quite heavy. You know, not a lot of people can even can hold, hold it or pick it? it up. I mean, you can try, but it weighs quite. It's quite a heavy weapon. It is a signature weapon known throughout the kingdom I of Bonker. As in the most high elite yielded weapon by those sworn to protect the royal family. Let's see. I'll take it off. Uh, I hand it off. Okay. Uh, I think it's going to be a roll to see whether or not you can... You want to roll? Yeah. Give it roll. over. Lloyd rolls. It just has start. to be over 18. <laughs> I hand over the bonker with one hand. <laughs> Lloyd does a fucking flip and face, his face smacks the ground. His face smacks the ground so hard it looks like it fucking his neck whiplashes. And you just yeah. see his stupid hair go. <laughs> I told you, not many, not many human uh, humans can even hold this thing. Let alone a half, fucking half giant could hold Sloppily this thing. getting myself back up. And I'm starting to feel a little slizzard. So I said, hey, let me try. Let me give it a try. I, <laughs> let I, me pick, give it back. Try. I pick it back up with one hand and hand it off to Damien. He rolls. I roll. Has to be above a 16. Am I worthy? Ooh. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh. Poor, poor. Ah. Oh, God damn. Ah. Just on, a little dust on it. Just on, you're so strong. <laughs> what Yo, can man, I say? You might be the strongest human I ever met. It's true. It's impressive. It's true. You remember that time when I used my hips and I thrusted with the hip thrust well, so strong? Yeah. And I said hip to half giant, like, I'll have another ale. There Sloppily, I, uh, I, I lean on the bar top looking at the barkeep. I go, he's got such great hips. His hips are like <sighs> the best. And then... <laughs> I interrupt and I say, you know what? I'm traveling with these guys. These guys are fucking great. I just met them a couple of days ago, but I like them. I don't care if they're human. I, uh, I attempt to uh, pour ale into my mouth, but it just pours all over the front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I grab my second ale and begin to drink. How hey, she is just that? nodding along and, and she's kind of wiping up the mess. Like, this is all just standard, standard <laughs> occurrence yeah. for the tavern. Hey, and, uh, bar wench, uh, have you heard of um, a half dragon or uh, his name is B B Blue? What are we looking for again? What's going on? Oh, yeah, that motherfucker owes me money. Big Lou, you have you seen him? Cheers. Cheers. Lou, oh, Lou. Yeah, the half dragon man or, or Do I, need, I could maybe I could roll to see if she knows. Um uh she just says Okay. Well, I there was a loo that passed through, but are you talking about the blue dragon or Yeah, or? yeah, the baby blue bird dragon. He's got Wait. all of our money. Wait. If we're looking for a dragon? Wait, what's if going if on? You're looking for a dragon. There's a dragon nearby. <gasps> yeah, Damien, he's got all your gold that you promised to give me. I don't remember a dragon on me. Listen, I don't care, half giant or dragon. I'm thrusting my hips. Oh, uh, here he goes again. Show me the dragon. I'll show him my hips. I'll take him to hip town. Okay, where's this dragon then? Since he oh. wants to fuck it or something. What I thought dragon? it was a giant, though. 
Yeah, no, there's there's a there's a blue dragon nearby. There's if there's a bounty out, there's been a bounty out for a little while. And she pulls Whoa. out a piece of paper. How and the bounty reads Honor, glory, riches. Be the hero you were meant to be. The ferocious frosted blue dragon, Gaifer Ari, has moved into the region and taken up residence at the bottom of the dungeon of darkest souls. Proof of his demise by presentation of a collection of his teeth and claws will be sufficient to collect the award of eight hundred gold pieces. Eight plus hundred. A choice oh, of damn. weapons from the town's arcane armory. Present proof of demise to Master Justice Mullet. Oh shit, boy! Eight hundred pieces. That's a lot of gold. Eight hundred is a lot. That's more than that big fucker owes me. Think of uh, all the hell I could buy with that. Can I ask you guys a question? Why? Huh? Why? Have you guys ever fought a dragon? How hard could it be? Yes, I have been in battle with a dragon. You have? I didn't get close enough to actually fight it. You know they fly, right? <laughs> right. It's hard to hit a dragon when it's flying around. Because he's flying around, I'm supposed to get him. That's but, the job for the archers and the magic users and so forth. So then what'd you do? I was taking down all the ads. <laughs> You're in crowd control. I was crowd control. I was grabbing. What I do is I grab. I was grabbing the whelps, grabbing them by the wings, and ripping them off. Oh, yeah. You making the sure no one room. stands by the whelp eggs. So, and I was ripping the whelps to come so out. So you have fought baby dragon. Oh, but I was swinging them with my bonker, like <laughs> hitting these little whelps and send them fucking blind. Just turn. As soon as I swing, these turn into a big mist of blood. So do you think you could kill the dragon too? If it's just like a well, and he's on the <laughs> ground, then yeah. Is this dragon a flying type? Is this a baby dragon? Or is it a ground type or a flame type or uh, an ice type uh, dragon? Those fucking ground dragons. What kind well, is it? I mean, to be fair, it's at the bottom of the Dungeon of Darkest Souls. No one's actually been able to go down and see it, but it's underground, so it's probably not a flying type. Uh, sir, uh, has anyone else tried to Ma'am. fight this? Sir, has anyone it's else tried- Don't assume clearance. Best watch it's, your it's tongue. Man. Has anyone else tried to fight this dragon? Uh, there've been one or two people who've gone into the dungeon, but they haven't come back with the proof of demise, so mm, it's safe to assume the, dra- the, the dungeon probably took care of them, or maybe the dragon did. Well, I bet they can't hold a bonker. That thing's heavy. Uh, I have a very important question, and this is probably the deal breaker, okay? Does yes. this dragon have arms? Uh, uh, y- yes. Like most dragons, this yes, one also has okay, arms. Okay, because yes. if it didn't have arms, and it's a wyvern. And those are bitches. I could fuck up a wyvern, no problem. No, <laughs> we, we can destroy a wyvern, but what I'm yeah. saying... But is it a dragon? Yeah, Laverne doesn't stand a chance it, against oh, us. Oh, fuck that motherfucker Laverne. What I am saying, uh, boys, right, is if well, this dragon is in the dungeon of the Darkest Souls, it's not a flying type. If you can get me face to face, then it will feel the wrath of my bonking prowess. Oh. And it is a dark dungeon. With your light, you may per- perhaps be able to light the way and I we'll just, need I, an elf because just, what, what that just makes us look that, good. I could cover you boys from thing. afar. Barkeep, what do you say? To, just, I've got a th- th- small thing to... The, I mean, it's just that there was one person who could hold a bonker who did go in and definitely not come out. So I'm just... It's probably pretty dangerous. Oh, just, oh. just thought How I'd, just thought I'd throw that. How big was their bonker? Was it let big me see. like let me see. this? Let me see yours. Oh. oh. Yeah, show the bonker. There it is. Sure. I, um, you it's know, a I ton. think yours might. Yeah, I, I, your bonker might have been a little bit bigger. Yeah, okay. Yours might be bigger. Well, yes, okay. It. I see. That's exactly well, I what mean, I thought. I mean, you might this stand is, a chance. This is a knight's first class sized bonker. Well, I, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to warn you, guy for RE is uh, not nothing to be trifled with. The the dragons can be smart too, so just I heard they oh, can this talk. one's quite clever. They can be pretty. Oh, he smart. can definitely talk. Yeah. They've been alive for hundreds of years. You guys, oh, I'm yes, trying absolutely. to I'm trying to secure that coin. It might be a little ways off the main quest, 
but I think it might be worth it. I think it's worth it. One of those ground dragons, what are they called? Lizards or something like that? Mm -hmm. We could take it out. A giant gecko. A gecko. Also, uh, with the, uh, the, the, the rewards of the armory, we can certainly smash your giant friend in half. Oh, that's right. I didn't even think about that. With the new upgraded weapon, that motherfucker Lou's definitely gonna have to pay up. We'll be able to walk along the crossroads and everyone will know we are the heroes who destroyed this guy for RA. I turn to the Dragoon. I turn to the, the crazy busy tavern. I go, Yeah! We're the best adventurers of all time! Music stops. <laughs> well, roll roll to see how how impressive you are. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Pops is on top of the bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. He's all lifting up his robes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Hell's great. <laughs> We're the best ever. Yeah. Pops rolls. You fucking tell him. Pops rolls. Uh, a, c a couple people turn their heads. Who's with me? A few bar flies just like, hell yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, sure. Percy. You get him. Yeah, nice haircut. <laughs> Tough crowd. I get down. Yeah. Way in the back. Nice haircut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's do it, boys. Let's fucking do it, man. Grab the bounty. Let's go. Thanks, Big okay. Bertha. And add it to the quest That's... log. Write it in the quest log. I'm writing. I'm writing. Write it in it's... the quest log. Come on. I just... My name. My name is Lady Toren. I just. If one of you could say it one time right, that would just do so much good for me. Tanya. Torrent. Tor oh, Torrent. You know what? You know. Close enough. Close. Yeah. Sure. Close Torrent. enough. Torrent. Taurus. Pretty close. A little bit further. That one wasn't quite as good. I gotta say, you're really pretty. <gasps> Thank you. And she leans over to give you a big old kiss on the cheek. Uh, I, I receive it, but I just blank stare. An incomplete shock. There's Claire's <laughs> yeah. never going to get laid. It's it's oh. not. A, it, 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 it's a pretty good kiss. Her big nose does leave a little, little spot of snot on your cheek. Dude, you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that, dude? Oh, oh, gross. Gross. What is yeah. that? Well You're done. Awesome. Oh, gross. <laughs> that is what we call true love. Perhaps someday you will fall in dude, love and marry this dude, woman. She marked you think her, so? Did she mark her territory, I bro? I think you have a chance. Well, Torren, I have a feeling you will be hearing more from us. Thanks, Tori. Uh, <laughs> oh, I kind of like that one. <laughs> Thanks, Torrent. Uh, <laughs> uh, and she she blows she blows all of you a kiss, but mostly she blows uh, pops a kiss. <laughs> mm. Not um, bad back there, cleric. <laughs> I am I'm also a cleric of love as well. <laughs> uh, okay, are you guys making your way to? So the bounty also shows the location of the of the dungeon as well. Okay. Yeah, we uh, let's say what do we probably eat? Eat a little bit, fill our stomachs so we're not obliterated drunk. We sure. sober yeah, up a little bit, up. hang out. I'm following their lead because kinda, I've never been drunk before. Maybe we stock yep. up on a few things around, uh, you know, traveling goods and such. Yep. yep. And we uh, prepare ourselves for a dungeon crawl. Ooh. Okay. Sounds okay. Good. Um, I, 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 this between all the drinks and all the food and all that stuff, it probably costs you one of those gold pieces. I, I take the three gold coins. I just give it to her. Oh shit! Yeah. What three? a tip! Uh, That's I, not the right yeah. tip you're supposed to give her. <laughs> for you. oh, damn, he is oh. truly falling in love with Toreen. <laughs> wow. Hey guys, the uh, way I saw it, that old lady got murdered for a good reason. It all went full circle in the wow. end. Wow. She died for true love. And I awkwardly wink at her. Uh, and I yeah, walk her, out smooth. Yeah, her <laughs> big animal eye winks back. And she blushes, you think. You can't really see with all the hair on her body. And I walk up and I kind of get the snot off of his face because he's still got it on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Um... And uh, and you guys start making your way uh, out of, out of town towards the Dungeon of Darkest Souls, correct? 
towards the dungeon of darkest souls. Sounds on scary. your way, on your way out of town, you pass out of the gates, back into the savannah towards a nearby forest. But as you pass along the road, a young man comes sprinting out of the forest. A young man with inexplicable hair. It's like it's pulled into long spikes that cover part of his face. Spiky hair. He wears a black jacket with red lining and a zipper. And he has these weird cut-off pants that are kind of poofy and end about halfway down his shins. And his shoes are absolutely ludicrous. They're like big clown shoes, entirely inappropriate for adventuring. And then you notice his weapon. It's the most useless sword you've ever seen. There's no blade at all. It's just a complicated handle and a key at the end. What the hell is that? Some sort of key sword? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and he, he kind of sprints and he stops and he's like, ah, 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 quickly, quickly, are you guys heroes of this world? Yes, yes we are. <laughs> of course Fine we adventurer. are. Yes we are. What the <laughs> hell is that you've got? Is that uh, a key or a sword? I can't even tell. What are it, those? It's my, it's my keyblade. And uh, listen, uh, I'm off to start my third and most ambitious, ambitious adventure of all time, and I need your help. Will you? Will you help me? Uh, well, it depends on what you're asking you. Listen, kid, we're on a big bounty job worth 800 <laughs> gold. So what do you want to do for us if you're planning on slowing us down? Mm -hmm. oh, well, there's gonna. Well, I can't offer you any money, but we have to stop the Heartless, okay? Listen, if we don't stop the Heartless, all the timelines and all the universes are going to implode. So I just need you to come with me. It should only take about 400 hours to complete, okay? I, we, I get it, off the horse and I walk up to him and I... I sort of just stand in front of him and intimidate him. <laughs> uh, okay, roll, roll to intimidate. Roll. I, I uh, you have to beat. You have to beat uh, a three. Okay. I uh, I turn to Damien and I go, uh, "Is that a is that an elf?" I turn to Pops and I say, "No, that is not an elf. <laughs> not even close." I walk right up to him and I roll. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, I can't oh, believe what? it, boys! Three in a row! <laughs> One and a half! Wow! My god! What a what gaming What the fuck are these dice, man? <laughs> Netty 20 after Netty 20. <laughs> What so a strong, God. I stand in front of this kid, letting him know we're not some shit to fuck with. And he obviously knows I already probably don't like him. <laughs> yeah, so he like grabs onto your, your, your like uh, your, your, your tunic, your, your um, tabard a little bit, and he starts kind of pulling on it. And like you are planted so firmly and so intimidatingly that like all he does is kind of ruffle the cloth a little bit. He's like, Come on, we have to stop the heartless. We it, it, it'll take hundreds of hours, and there's absolutely no reward at the end. And you probably won't understand what we're doing while we're doing it, but we have to do it. You you have to join me. I see. Even mm. though I have intimidated him so hard, and he's still being annoying, and I hate his shoes. And I hate, the, I, I hate the trim plaid. <laughs> I uh, reach for the bonker and I uh, tell him in this intimidating stance that he needs to just fucking get away from us or else I'm going to bonk him directly on the chest and send him flying. Can I, can I uh, walk up right before Justin does that and I tell him, hey, man, I've met two questers just like you before and you're definitely the worst of the three by far <laughs> by far <laughs> and then i said go ahead justin tell him just harm uh and uh he kind of backs up as he sees like this stare of death coming from you and he says you you, you, you. oh i see you are the heartless 
You're the problem with this entire universe. I need to defeat you. Uh, and he kid, raises his uh, keyblade high. Kid, I, I'm gonna warn you right now. If you if you if you use that key, you're gonna regret everything. Don't do it, kid. You have your life ahead of you. Even I'm don't. like, don't make me do it, because you will not recover from this bonker. <laughs> don't do it, kid. He raises the keyblade high, and the end of the keyblade begins to shine. No! And this weird dog human thing starts to spring out of the light wearing weird fucking three fingered white gloves and blue pants with weird floppy dildo ears i've never seen anything like it it's disturbing. he's speaking some language I don't understand he's saying gorge yeah what what language what is dialect that? is that it's not elvish what is that I wouldn't expect the Heartless to understand. Meet your end, Heartless. And uh, he attacks Juston <gasps> with <gasps> a natural <laughs> 20. No! This kid's stronger than we thought. He reaches back with his keyblade and he brings it down with all the might of the thousands of hours of unintelligible content that exists within his many universes. And he smites the mighty Juston no! with seven anime damage. No! It's so convoluted! No! So unnecessary. Well, that was your turn. Big shoes, boy, fancy pants. I grab my bonker, I look back at my boys, and I wink, perhaps for a blessing to send him flying? Knowing, uh, seeing this mortal wound happen to my uh, trusty bodyguard, I bestow a blessing upon his bonker to smite his enemies at his hand. Bless the bonker before it goes flying in this kid's chest. Just on! Smite them! Does it need a roll to be higher oh, than Oh, yeah. Turn? Roll, roll, and, uh, I mean, it, yeah, it's got to be better than a seven. Better Let than the a holy seven. light bless you! Come on! You got this, Just on! Whoa. Nice. Whoa. It has been fully charged. Perhaps. I think the, the light kind of sputters for a second. Like you, you put your hands on the bonker, no! and it kind of sparks a little bit. Like it's not going to work, and then and then it gets going. It warms up. Oh, the uh, engine uh, gets uh, rolling. Uh, it's a little, it's a little half charge. It's it's kind of, yeah, it's a little half charge. It. Okay, a little half charge. It's it's glowing a little bit if you look closely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, it just needs a little bit of radiant light in order to be effective. Trust me, right. Damian. I know you cannot bless it, but perhaps you want to kiss the bonker for good luck. Fuck it, why not? Well, kiss the bunker. <laughs> Go ahead, do it to him. See you later, anime kid. I uh, plant my feet deep, deep into the ground again, get at least a few inches in that dirt, ready just for a full fucking swing, aiming right for his chest. See you later. I, I, I plan on sending him flying. Fuck that stupid <laughs> kid up. So you're going to get to roll twice and take the higher of the two, and we're going to uh, we're going to add a little bit of half dark elf kiss damage to it. <laughs> Ooh, that's right. a lot of damage. If, if it hits, and you need you need to roll above a ten. Roll above a ten. He, he, he's standing straight on. Like he he, there is no fear in his eyes. He okay. knows for sure that with the power of friendship and anime on his side that you stand no chance. All right, kid, let's see. I roll the dice. Hey, Bring it on, Heartless. You you don't scare me. Oh, you should be scared. You should be scared. It doesn't look good for you. Why not roll again just to see if it's another just in case. Chris. Just in case. Just just in case. case. I already set my sights right on his chest. I okay. take a few steps back and I start running towards him. Am I cool yep. to swing? Oh, I fucking, yeah, absolutely. I fucking swing everything into it. It's still a little bit of that ale in me. 
so it's like even harder like I, it just, it, yeah. i've just ignored the capabilities of my body and i just plant one right on his fucking chest oh, right I made in the a, upper yeah. chest oh i made a terrible in popping a, noise in a up kind of swing fashion <laughs> from down yeah. low and, and aiming to send him flying y'all hear that crack no. <laughs> and as as you like plant your foot for the actual strike like you're running and as that final foot gets planted in the ground and the bonker comes up into his chest it's right before it strikes that you see in his eyes mortal fucking dread as he realizes this was a huge mistake <laughs> Yup. And mm. it compresses, <laughs> it compresses like his stomach up into his chest cavity. You hear the popping of a bunch of ribs and full on Team Rocket style from Pokemon. He gets launched into the fucking stratosphere. The second he gets impacted, I have to look away. It's just too violent. Yeah. Yeah. No, God. it looks bad. And like it's an awkward uh, ragdoll effect. I, I can't. Yeah. Uh, I would say it's almost like he literally was like erased. Like yeah, it exactly. It became a blur as soon as it hit the chest. And then yeah. I, I get ready to take aim. I look at that fucking dumb dog. And I yeah. get ready to shoot. And I say, you're next, pal. And he looks right back at me. He says, oh, gosh. And I roll. <laughs> roll to hit him. You got to get above a six. Okay, I'm going for rapid fire. All right. Rapid fire on his Dog man prepares the bow. He fires. Whoa. Oh, you know shit. What? Oh. That never happens. Whoa. Oh, no. Why are you firing that thing, man? Oh, shit. Crazy. It's a, it's a weapon. Oh, shit. This looks like you got to take this one away, cleric. Uh, I think before the cleric gets a turn, uh, a goof, uh, goofer, to avoid <laughs> trademark infringement, yeah. goofer, <laughs> go piss off the mouse. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> runs up uh, to the archer who just tried to land an arrow in his face, and he starts spinning, and those weird dog ears become like cat of nine tail whips. Oh as shit. He Attempts to just beat you down with his weird floppy dildo ears. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, and he completely fucking fails. You just like dance around him. He keeps on spinning, trying to slap you with him, and you are just fucking dancing all around this guy. Too agile. Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! Oh! Ho! <laughs> Missed. Take it and away, Cleric. Cleric. It is your turn. Feeling uh, coming down from the day drinking of the tavern and seeing such an inspirational attack on this uh, dork of a human being and seeing <laughs> just the sheer ridiculousness of this, our enemy, I jump <laughs> off my horse and feeling like I too can swing a bonker, I swing my staff. You're going for a staff <laughs> And swing. I try to smack that goofer right in his dumb face. <laughs> okay. She's just like, yeah, I can walk yeah. too. Yeah. Plant your feet in the dirt. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. And uh, just roll, so you guys know, uh, Pops has only been reading books his entire life. <laughs> He's never worked out. He's never ran once. He is just a nerdy dude. So I go that, to swing. That, you got to roll above a seven. There you go. Not bad. Not All bad. right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Most technical of a hit possible. So close. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And, <laughs> oh, gore. Get back. Nice, dude. You, yeah. deal, you, you deal three damage to, to oh, <laughs> you know, uh, damn it. You know, coconut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> And you you basically stop his spinning uh, and, and you give him a goose egg on his head. Um, but he turns around and uh, he now has his eyes set straight on Pops. Ah! Just on, it is your turn again. Okay, before I uh, ah! decide, I tell I, I tell him, hey, I, you saw what I did to your friend. 
Are you sure you want to do this? If you come at, if you come at the cleric, that means you're dealing with me and the bonker. <laughs> yup. And he pulls out a gun. <laughs> That's all he says. He That's says, all he Yuck. says. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, if chuck's all you're gonna give me, then a chuck's all you're gonna get. So I, uh, I, I get my bonker, but this time I uh, take a different stance. A stance the boys haven't seen me yet. What? Ooh. A forbidden technique. And I tell bonker. them, second form. I tell them, this is time for me. This is just toying around at this point. We're fighting some kind of dog that says some dialect I've never heard of. I take an overhand offhand stance, and I come at him with a spinning bonker technique. I start charging Whoa. it up and it's spinning like a, a pinwheel. It's spinning faster and faster and faster as I prepare to come at him with a pinwheel spin technique you guys all, haven't seen me do yet. Gets all windy. Oh, the grinder! It just starts shaking stuff. <laughs> I'm just grinding it up and I'm getting ready. With the forbidden technique, roll. And with this, more difficult technique, but far more powerful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Roll. And get above a nine. Above a nine? Come on! What are you doing? What are you doing? It looks kind of stupid. I come at him and I'm just sort of gently spinning it on his chest. It's not really doing anything. What are you doing? That's not working. I'm just like, take this. Just hit him. Just hit him. Take this. <laughs> Gorsh. <laughs> he just uh, says Gorsh. <laughs> he just says Gorsh. Uh, and um, Damien, it is now your turn. As you can see, uh, uh, Goofer with a, with an actual gun, oh, getting shit. ready to <laughs> getting ready to shoot. You don't even know what a gun is. It's just a weird piece of metal. Yeah. Uh, he's getting. He's pointing it menacingly at Juston. Okay, I see him pointing that, and I don't know what it is, but I can't take any chances. I don't have time to load up my bow and my or my arrow and my bow, so I just grab the arrow, and I say, shit, 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 and I try to stab him. Whoa! Oh Whoa. shit! Arrow stab. Yeah. yeah. I've got him distracted. Now's the perfect time to start. Roll for that. That shit. roll, you have to beat a seven. Okay. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Oh, shit. double down. Yeah. And after I stab his ass, I put my arrow on my bow and I aim it right at his head. And I say, a hyuck this, motherfucker. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> so you deal 15 damage to Goofer. Yes. And I think what, what you guys see is something a little bit upsetting as Damion runs up and like stabs Goofer and like finds purchase and like blood starts to come out of him. And he pulls out the arrow and he stabs him again and again and again and again. And Goofer is kind of like gargling a little bit and falls over backwards. And then Damion loads the bow as Goofer is on the ground and just buries it into his skull. Oh shit. Whoa. I fucking, I fucking hate this guy. Where did all that come from? <laughs> you know what? I can't even explain it, guys. There's something about this fucking dog. I just feel like there's so many hours wasted. I don't, I don't know. I try, I try to calm Damien down because I see him just like, he's windy. I'll be like, what did this creature do to you? It's the darnest thing. I don't have any memory of meeting him before, but I just wanted to murder him in the most violent way <laughs> well, you did that you definitely did that you keep those skills on hand we might need them when we face the dragon all right you guys ready to keep going or what hey could you guys see when i smashed that fucking <laughs> demon dude? dude you fucking bonked him with a stick dude, i fucking i gave it everything i got i was, I was doing using your technique it was fucking cool you've been hanging out with me long enough you're starting to get a little bit stronger kid <laughs> yeah I, I i stabbed the dog <laughs> yeah. <You> sure did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but killed him. Try not to shoot that thing at me again, because you almost shot me right in the dome. Oh man. yeah. Almost shot Lloyd. Freak accident. Yeah. Uh, what happened to that fucking dude? He smashed into the atmosphere. <laughs> I don't know. He's gone. <laughs> I've <laughs> never seen someone I bonk so hard come back. Uh, yeah. I don't think he's gonna come back from that. And that's when you notice. <laughs> Lying on the ground, 
was the strange key-shaped weapon that he had been wielding. Struck so hard, he left his grip as he was shot into the stratosphere and lying half buried in the ground was the hero's keyblade, waiting for a new champion to take it up. I, uh, I nudge uh, Justin and be like, do you know what that is? Well, I mean, looks like you could open a door or something. Hold Perhaps on one it... sec, one sec, boys. I really need to meditate right now. So sorry to interrupt. I have to meditate. Be right back. <laughs> you, hey, it's Elf. They, they got a... <laughs> After a fresh kill, yeah, he yeah. has to let it soak yeah, in. Yeah, it's a clarity <laughs> oh, thing. Oh, God. Yeah, they got to, like, drop their heart rate. Or uh, do, do elves have hearts? I don't know. But That's a good question. I'm pretty sure they do. What I will say... I mean, it's a key, so... I mean, could, it looks it like a key. could become useful. Um, it's rather large. Um, I don't really want to carry it. It is a bit cumbersome, but I'll perhaps... take it uh, with the expectation that it's... Lloyd, why don't you take it? ...that it's a, a key to a door, uh, because I'm not... Let uh, me see it. I'm not attuned a, a, a It's with... not too heavy. Whoa, it's back bit... from my meditation. It's a bit strange of a weapon, I would say, but perhaps this could open something down the line that could prove to be useful, or maybe someone would know what it could be used Interesting for. Interesting that he would use this as a weapon, though. Why not just use, like, a broadsword or something? Or I'm a pretty, hammer. I mean, I thought you humans use keys to open doors? Conventionally, yes. It could be useful. Okay. I say you keep it on you, Pops. I will uh, fashion it to me in some capacity that's not in my way. Yes. All right, okay. so now we've got a key on us. Wow. You've got an enormous key that has unknown purpose. It's summoned that weird goofer dog, but other than that, its powers lay unknown. I'm, 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 I'm slowly admiring it. I'd be like, it's actually kind of cool. It's actually pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about it? <laughs> Holding it, I feel like I just, it belongs in my hand. It's got a chain on the end, and uh, it's got... Some kind of mouse on the end. Hold on, let me I see that know. thing. No, 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 it's mine. No, no, no. I want to see. Oh, it's mine. It's mine. It. Put it away. I'm tired of looking at it. Do you guys know when you hold like a really epic weapon, how you feel like there's a lot of lore in it? You can feel the lore coming out of it. Yeah. It must be a cleric thing. Must be. I will save this for my research later. All right. Pops, as you say, you can feel the lore coming out of it. You actually feel something uh. attempting to break out of it. Uh. But it feels somehow strangely familiar. Something it's like happen. you know what it is. And if, if you were to call it, it would answer your call and assist you in your time, in your time of need. It speaks to you? It's resonating in my mind. It's uh, it's giving me memories of the chains of the past. Hmm. It's uh, it's a language I've never heard before, but somehow I know what it means. Hmm. It's hard to describe. He's doing this cleric thing again. Yeah, he's speaking weird cleric riddles. He's I've, getting into the lore. I've only had this once happen to me. When I spoke to the deities and they spoke to me and they told me to go on my journey. This... There's more to this than what we know. Okay. Well, maybe we should keep it. Maybe it'll speak to you again. I, I clinch it closer to me and closer to me, and I kind of eye them. He's really taking a liking to it. <laughs> um, you just tell me when you want to use it, mm -hmm. and I will tell you what happens. Okay. It's not, and it doesn't have to be, like, it's not going to be necessarily a story beat. Yeah. It just has power that when you want to use it, you let me know. Yes. So you're saying Perfect. we could summon it? Uh, it's hard to tell Lloyd hears what exactly would happen. I, Lloyd hears I, a voice from I it? I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I think okay. so. Uh, All right. You guys are uh, not wise enough to understand such artifacts, <laughs> so it's... <laughs> No, I'm just, it's, I'm it's, just dark actually, it's actually in my best interest to keep it away from you guys. You keep doing your lore <laughs> book thing, I'll keep bonking and hip thrusting. I got my bow. You I keep like, shooting arrows. I like the sound of that. And, and I, we'll make some money. And I put it on my hip and I keep it close. All right. Perfect. 
Um, and you guys, uh, are, are you going to continue to make your way to the Dungeon of Darkest Souls? Yeah, now that that's taken care of, a bop to that kid out in the... Uh... Out in the <laughs> celestial space, and his dog is dead. Let somewhere that kid still float. <laughs> Let's continue back uh, to our original plan, which is towards the dungeon of dark, darkest of souls. <laughs> Bop the shit out of that kid. <laughs> <laughs> You're rolling a lot of twenties, my Get god. Boss. Save some for the Dude, rest what of us. The fuck? Don't, don't, what can don't, I don't say? step up to just dawn. Hey, you what can I say? Uh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, so, uh, you guys, uh, travel for a while until you enter the forest itself, but you're only in the forest for maybe five or so minutes. The entrance to this dungeon is quite close to the edge of the woods, and the, the entrance to the dungeon looks very ominous. It is basically a big stone rectangle that just descends directly into the ground. There's no like superstructure. There's nothing on the surface. It's basically like a stone pit that goes down. I, I see the entrance and I have a weird confidence about me and I step up to the entrance and I try to detect any undead or evil that might be <gasps> resonating from this dungeon. Hell yes. You're not a, um, he's not afraid for once I've seen him. Not afraid of something that would terrify most men. There you go, cleric. I start going through my passages in my book, and I find the one that I know is the one I need, and I start chanting and, you know, resignating the, the energy out of the book. I don't know if we can Absolutely. see down there. We'll need something to see. Perhaps you could enchant your stick to glow and lead it away through oh, this dungeon. Don't worry, good Justin. I'm very well versed in such evil uh yeah roll you have to beat a five okay. in order for your detect uh undead and evil um spell do you want to read the passage as you roll yes <laughs> <laughs> i can probably actually find something just pick something yeah. <laughs> pick something it's a okay. big book okay. yeah okay, okay. There's, there's a bit of thick read okay. <laughs> in the roman catholic church of a pertaining of an ordinary. A member of an ordinary will consume the darkness. <laughs> what? That's in the book! It was an order. It's a dictionary. <laughs> what? And, what a book! And, and you roll your dice. It has to be over a what? It has to over be over a five. A five. <laughs> Guide us and protect us from evil. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Guys, shit, cleric. Uh, well. so that's why we teaming up together. Your stick begins to glow with a light that shines. Ah! That's right. Um, we're going to need that if we're going to be able to see down there. Uh, so, yeah, Pops, you kind of feel this, like, sonar pulse come out of yours, like, down into the dungeon. And when it comes back up, you just know where all the nasty things are within uh, like 200 feet and you feel uh, now I gotta fucking consult my notes cause Do you, you got, got a DM voice thing. in the sky uh, uh, yeah, you got a little bit of a a, li a little sneak peek into the to the tricks I had ready for you but I guess you're just gonna know what they are before <laughs> time, before and now I will also keep it appropriate for lore purposes <laughs> um, At first, so... I laughed when you had that book on you, boy, but it has proven to be quite useful. <laughs> I'm, tell yeah. I'm telling you, I read this thing several times, and there's some good stuff in here. You got mm. one? Do you want to read it? Let me see if I can read it. Yeah, go ahead. I can't quite make out the cover here. <laughs> yeah, read it. It says here, read I'm it. not yeah, yeah. quite hmm. versed in this thing. Yeah, what do the words say to you? Uh, a. F a a hog sty mm -hmm. for fattening. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Let me see. I want to. I don't know. What I the wanna, hell is this? I want to try and see what kind of stuff is in this book. Of <laughs> uh, a, a, a battle axe used by ancient Franks. A, fr a francophile? Yeah, about the ancient Frank lore. About <laughs> the one war cleric that conquered the <laughs> land and saved all the enemies. A francophile, one who is friendly 
to France? Yes. I don't know what the hell you're reading. You're reading the index. See. Okay, yeah, you're reading some boring shit. You got to get to the good stuff. Let me see what we got here. Everyone knows the good stuff. So you uh, in the back of the book. Joking for dummies. Step one, grab the base from the shaft and then you move. Okay, I don't understand what this stuff is, but it sounds gross. They also say that the, <laughs> the words are actually what's in your mind. Ew, you have pictures of monsters and creatures in this bestiary in the oh, back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It says a lithodid. It's a crab-like angular carapace. You keep this on you. It's too scary for me. There's a section about demonology in here that if I were even utter words from it, it would shatter your consciousness. It's too spooky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah keep it away from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised I even handed it over to you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we must continue. As that sonar pulse comes back to your mind, you feel the sense that immediately down the passage for a hundred feet or so, there are no undead or evil beings. However, beyond that, you feel a dozen undead sources directly ahead. You sense one overwhelming, deadly, undead feeling to the right, and you feel no undead sensations to the left. Hmm. I sh I, my skin's crawling. It's so uncomfortable to have the sensation of just knowing what's in there. Yeah. I, I turn to Justin and uh, Damien. I'd be like, all right, you guys go first. Okay. Who would say you what it, it just said, it said everything's cool down there? You did your thing and everything's cool? Let me ask you guys a question. Yes. What do you think is in this Darkest Souls dungeon? <laughs> I would uh, guess... Uh, that dragon? The dragon? The dragon? Oh, dragon. there might be probably a dragon in there. There's yeah, probably somewhere. a ghoul, a goblin, a... Dark evil a magics? Treasure? Where's the treasure? Tell us where the treasure is. Oh, if I had a detect treasure spell, I wouldn't be here right ah, now. Ah, shit. True. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm still feeling brave from the previous events. All I will say is stay on guard. Hmm. Well, I, uh, I'll, I'll go first. I don't, I don't yeah, care. You can go first, Justin. I got your back, but I don't know. It seems like we're at a crossroad here. The fork in the road. We can go left. We can go right. I mean, I've always... Well, we're, we're, we're now entering the dungeon now. Are we... We're going in and we went down a pit, right? Or he's just scoped it out and got a sonic radar. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so basically you guys are standing so we're still at standing the entrance? outside oh. like Baronzy, yeah. crossroadsy looking at a pit of an entrance of the dungeon. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, you kind of stood at the entrance and just sent the sonar pulse down into the dungeon itself. You want to go first? Or you want me to go first? I mean, it doesn't really make sense to make an archer go first. I was going to say you do it better from far away. Yeah. I'll go first. I I look at the boys, I, I nod to each of them and I take the first steps, but I say keep that that glowy light staff of yours on hand because I can't see a few feet in front of me. It's very dark. Do I have the ability of casting some type of radiant light to give us some type of visibility? Voice in yeah, the sky? you absolutely do. Yep. Yep. Uh, yes. Yeah, you totally have that <laughs> spell, man. Totally. Yeah. Uh, why don't you roll the dice to see how good the light is? Okay. Illumina! <laughs> it's not bright. It's very it's, dull. It's I can't see shit. Just, I think you can see kind of worse. It's like that kind of glow that just... <laughs> Makes it harder oh, to see farther glow away. Stick glow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We can, we can see worse. I look. I <laughs> look back. At, I worse. look back at Lloyd, and he's just using it to make his like the whites of his teeth and his eyes yeah! bright and look yeah. all cool, but it's just glow <laughs> stick style. Yeah, that's great, but it's even darker in the dungeon. Is now. this helping, guys? You absorb the light from the dungeon. Is this helping? Thanks a lot. Now we uh. enter the dungeon, boys. Uh, question about uh, racial abilities: uh, Can elves yeah. see in the dark? I was curious they about that. They can. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so elves, elves can see in the dark, and dark elves can see better in the dark than they can in the light. Oh. You know what, guys? Yep. <laughs> I just forgot that I can see better in the dark. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna go first, and I'm gonna put my bow oh, wait, away. You're going first? Yeah, I will go first. My okay. bad. I think it's safer because I can see what's coming at us. So, uh, yeah, instead of that, I'm going to grab these two arrows, kind of using those daggers here. Mm -hmm. Also, you're kind of a stealthy guy, so maybe you can I am kind a of stealthy sneak guy. up on dude. Hold right? on, let me get into stealth mode. <laughs> okay. Okay. Keep your guards um, up, boys. Guys, We're so going cool. in. Cool. Archer hey, going uh, in first. I haven't <laughs> seen hey, much of that before. Hey, just on. That Damon guy's pretty fucking cool. 
is not bad. He's been, he's proven to be quite resourceful in this whole journey so far. People call me the half cool elf from time to time. I can see why. Grab your weapons, boys. We're going. I okay. stay really close to, uh, like, uh, just on's cape, like, closeness. Holding the tip, yeah, the <laughs> yeah, edge of yeah. my cape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, just a little bit ahead. I'm just walking. Yep. Okay. Does he need, so, do you need to roll for what are you doing? Uh, yeah. Do what are you, what is he doing? What are you doing? I thought we were just going in. Yeah, just, okay, he's just going in. Okay. okay. He yeah. goes first. So, as as Damion takes one step into the dungeon, uh, Damion, roll a dice. You need to beat a 12. Okay. <gasps> Boy, it sure is scary in this dungeon. Tell <laughs> me about it. <laughs> oh. oh. Guys, I think so, the coast is clear. How scary is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> as you say that, this weird little bony arm comes shooting out of the darkness and stabs you with a very small little knife for one harm, for one damage. Ah, ah shit, I got what? shanked. What's going on over there? Well, look out, boys, I just got shanked. I don't know which direction it came oh from. Oh my God. Yo, these, uh, some, somebody's gangster down here. Be what more exact, going on? be more precise. I don't know what happened. I can barely see, I just saw an arm come out of nowhere and it shanked in. me. <laughs> it's not looking good, boys. Can I try to counter attack? Or try yeah, to perceive uh, what just happened? Uh, yeah, so uh, go ahead. I mean, choose, choose which one you'd like to do. Would you I, like to I see perceive, what happened? Oh, yeah, or... I want to perceive what okay. just happened. Yeah, so roll. You have to beat a five. Seeing is better, is easier than uh, attacking. <gasps> oh! That's what I It's a <laughs> Cool! No fucking way, boys! <laughs> what a bad! <laughs> My God! Woo! Oh shit! That was pretty dope. Oh, that was my dope God! As fuck. <laughs> uh, so I definitely know what happened. Dude, you, yeah, know, you exactly know exactly where he is. <laughs> <laughs> I can um, see through that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think basically like. It takes this split second for your eyes to adjust to the darkness, and as you realize that you can see fucking clear as day down here. Like, it, there, it's like there is no darkness. So you just, it's like everything just comes into focus all of a sudden, and you see this weird, stupid skeleton with one arm um, who's holding this little, like, butter knife that's obviously been uh, sharpened by kind of banging against stones. Okay. Uh, and it's got, it's got a little bit of blood on it, and he's kind of hopping back and forth on his ah. feet. I'm, like, I'm gonna get ya. Are you serious? This is the little bitch that stabbed me? Guys, it's just a skeleton. It's just a skeleton. It's a, a what? Little, it's a little, it's a little skeleton. It's just a bunch of balls. Let's it's fuck a them baby up. skeleton? That's creepy, dude. A little no, baby skeleton. Like it, it might have been a dwarven or a little person who had died. I, I don't want to say what kind of skeleton it was. I might offend kill it, someone. Kill it, but, again, oh, kill, it again. kill it, kill it, kill it. Can I try to attack it? Hey, come on now, boys. Hey, 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 there's no, there's no need for that. I just saw you coming into my dungeon now. Wait, what? Uh, What's that noise? What is that? It speaks. Hey, it come talks. on now, guys. Hey, we can be friends. We can be friends. Come on now. Hey, put put down the bow. I just, whoa, I got a little spook. You came down into, you came down into my dungeon here. You come on now. Hey, put, put the bow down. You shanked me, motherfucker. What you mean, put the bow down? Boys, what uh, do we do? You think we should reason with a skeleton? Uh, he hurt you. You gonna let him do that? Nobody he, hurts me! He leaps at you again with the knife and misses completely. Oh, He's oh that's unfortunate. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I was hoping I was gonna get you with that one. Yeah, nice try, Mr. Skeleton. But I draw a bow uh, and I get it. Er, I draw arrow. I get it ready <laughs> and I get ready to fire. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely shoot him. Uh, you just need to roll more than a three. Oh, he rolls. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, Ooh, close, close one. Close. Very close indeed. And uh, a headshot. You do. You let loose like, this arrow. And as it hits his head, he just poofs into smoke. What the? Was that some kind of some kind of illusion or something? Huh? Hey, uh, Damien, what, next time you want to fight a bunch of farts, just uh, do it on your own time, okay? <laughs> what? Well, shit, I didn't know. Sorry about that, boys. I thought we were actually in danger. Well, you know, happens to the best of us, I guess, but... Well, well done. I, 
and Pops, you know that there were no undead that close to the entryway. Okay. The yeah, you knew did not that. come back. You did yeah. the full scan. Didn't you know that? <laughs> Are you going to start accusing me of stuff? You're too busy over there playing with your glow stick. It's not doing anything. It's cool. You Where's just that shit in your fucking book? It's, it's actually getting more in my eyes than it is like <laughs> radiating. <laughs> Causing more harm than good. Yeah, it makes it harder to see. It's kind of cool though. It has luckily, like that luckily there's, there's torches in this dungeon, so we can see a little bit. There's some light, but it, yeah, Pops is just playing with his glow stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm over here um, bleeding out. Do you heal me or something? It's, it's it's one harm, so it's it's okay. it's like the definition of like a paper cut. Oh, okay. Oh, you want me to heal your mortal wounds? Hey, listen, man. Paper cuts hurt the worst. Okay. Hey, listen. I'm gonna save my curing, you know, divine magic mm -hmm. when you really need it. Okay. You just want to waste a spell slot. <laughs> it hurts. I need it now. Tough enough. All right. Keep going. Somebody else go first. Fuck y'all. All right, I, I'll go first if you don't want to go first. Okay, go ahead. Can't handle it? I can't handle it. All right, I'll go first. I take the lead. Okay. Um, and uh, and are you just are you just kind of like walking in? Are you trying to sneak in? How how are you approaching this this darkest dungeon? Well, after seeing the elf get stabbed, I am a little bit more like, oh shit, checking my corners as I walk through each section. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, roll, roll me a d20. Uh, you need to beat a ten okay. to kind of keep a wary eye. It's hard to see in here. You guys have a bit of light, but it's hard to see, uh, and the stone all looks the same. So, okay. not too hard to get a look around. But all right, I'll roll ahead. Yeah. How can I see? Ooh. What do you see? What do you see? I'm checking all my corners, boys. I ain't seeing a whole lot. I'm checking my corners. I'm checking my corners. We're safe. Let's continue. And what do Every I see? Every now and then, you look around a corner and you see that weird little skeleton guy. He's like, he was he was waiting around that corner. He was gonna jump around and stab you. And then as soon as you kind of see him, he kind of runs away and poofs into thin air again. Gosh, I, I, I keep catching him, but the, the tail end of him, he keeps going. Ah, fucking best He's fast. Best. He knows this place more than we do. He knows every corner. I'm gonna fuck him. Cut me. It hurts. But I'm I'm on to him, boys. Stay on guard. Right on. Um and as you guys make your way through this this insanely dark, brooding, atmospheric dungeon, you come to a crossroads. Well, not the maybe that's a bad word. A you fork. come to a fork in the road. An yes, thank you. A fork in the road that goes three ways. Basically, it can go straight ahead. It can go right and it can go left. Uh, based on when I channeled uh, the detecting of the undead, which is emanating more undead energy? So the center path uh, had like a dozen uh, undead signatures. Okay. The right had one completely overwhelming undead signature and the left had no undead signatures at all. Which way should I go, boy? Well, there's uh, there's some good news and a lot of bad news. What's the bad news? <laughs> well, if there's lots of bad news, okay, yeah, what's bad, the bad, bad, what's news, the bad news? Bad news first. So that way, mm -hmm. there's a lot of messed up stuff in there. Stuff that I don't <laughs> even know what that is. Ooh, okay. And this other one, I think we could manage it. It seems pretty uh, smashable, bonkable, if you will. Mm. Something you can relate to. Mm. And the other one, not really detecting anything, but it's kind of hard to tell. It's quiet. This is a dark dungeon, after all. Mm, it's pretty dark. One of the darkest I've ever seen. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm as much a part of the group as you guys are. Is there anything you guys... If you are confident that there's nothing that I would be afraid of with my bonker in this direction, that was straight ahead, right? <laughs> Which way was it? Straight Force ahead? in the sky? It was, Is that which, correct? Which way? It was straight yeah. ahead? Uh, the right-hand side had the very, very spooky strong one. The center path had many smaller ones, and the left-hand path had nothing at all. If there's nothing on the left, then it could be a trap. Could be. If I was a trap, where would I be? Probably, Probably where there's nothing. Oh. No one goes down there. On the left, yeah. and, and no monsters, ghouls, ghosts, or goblins, or skeletons would stay there because they might accidentally walk over the trap. True. Also, I don't know if you guys have read many uh, tales of dungeon lore like I have, but usually the big bad thing 
It's probably protecting something that's probably pretty important. I was thinking, what if the big bad thing might be the dragon? Could be. Could be. Hmm. I say we go the bonkable route. Center, straight, and true. Damien. I'm with Justin. I can't, uh, you know, go against the group. You're I, just uh, chewing on your glow stick. Let's go straight. I, I, I just, I just follow. <laughs> okay. Uh, you enter the the center path, and so basically they have kind of like uh, portcullises, and as soon as you are all through the portcullis of the center path, a massive metal gate comes down behind you, and you hear it lock, and it is heavy and thick, and you are all now in a new section of the dungeon with no way to go back. You can oh. no longer leave the dungeon. You are locked in. There's no hey, escape. um, didn't we hire a guy to detect all the traps? Uh, who could that have been? Uh, mm. it wasn't the cleric. I'm not good with traps, so yeah. I don't think it's it was not me. me. Oh. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not really too good with all that. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, mm. I well, guess we didn't hire him. We're really in a bad spot right now. Uh, a voice in the sky, would you say this is level two we've entered? Or this is just the next this section of level appears one. appears to be level two of have, the dungeon. We have entered level two, boys. Uh-oh. There is no escape. It's even deeper and darker. Oh. It's darker in here. Oh, and the dark energy in here is really scary. Oh, but I can see fine. Now, mm. here's the thing. My fair Damion, you can see very well. But unfortunately, what's happened here is the walls are so far away on the sides that it it vanishes into darkness even for you oh i can't see anything what do you see i'm having a hard time seeing i can only see the walls getting further and further away so it just turns into darkness so it's really dark in it's there. really dark in here guys um mm. uh well seeing as you probably could probably see more than i can because i can barely see my hand in front of me do you want me to head back in the lead Probably, so we don't fall into a pit or something. Yes. Okay. So I walk in front of Justin. I get my my arrow knives ready. I'm staying really close to Damien because I don't even I can't see in front of me at all. And I'm sort of uh, taking the back row now. I'm sort of watching from the back because uh, Lloyd wants to be sandwiched. I still have my uh, my light that's very dim, so you can kind of tell where I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're the most visible point in the yeah. room. <laughs> in the very back. Okay. Yeah. And As we just you keep walk going. through. Damien, with your dark elf eyes, you see something disturbing in here. What do you see? Oh, it's real disturbing. How From disturbing? the ceiling, you see bodies are hanging from the ceiling. Bodies. Many, many bodies, all hanging by the neck with burlap bags over their heads. Do you see uh -oh. treasure? Hundreds of them. Not exactly. Do you see the dragon? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get an arrow queued up here. So we're fighting. we're fighting. We're fighting. No, no, we're no, fighting. not exactly. We're guys. Fighting. Don't, calm have, down, Lloyd. Have your calm weapons. down. Have your weapons at the ready. We might not be alone down here. But guys, I don't want to alarm you. But directly above us are a bunch of dead hanging corpses. Be careful. Ah! Watch your footing. Perhaps, That's what I was trying to avoid. Perhaps there are stones that could release some sort of trap to grab you and throw you up top and join them. Uh, as, uh, as Lloyd screams <laughs> as a beacon of light in the center of this whole fucking room, um, you guys start to hear shuffling. It's like heavy cloth being dragged against stone, and it's from all around you, above you. Um, oh. It's it's like something is being dragged along the ceiling. Kind of sound is kind of is probably the best that you could guess. What is it? What is it? What is it? You guys hear that spooky shuffling? I don't like it. I hear something. I don't know what it is. I'm a um, it must be something undead down here with us, boys. We're not alone. Uh, do I have any type of 
warding magic to kind of protect me, like, as a bubble. Of, Don't you have something? Yeah, something that, like, auras against, you know, evil <laughs> or, you know, something like that. Yeah, Cleric, I feel like this is your element. You in the back. What is this shit? <laughs> voice this guy help me. <laughs> uh, yes, of course, uh, you have... Uh, you have protection against good and evil. <gasps> protection against evil. Protection against evil. That's good. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Read that passage. Uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? It's in like chapter four or something. And I start casting that. All right. Uh, you, you will need to roll above a six. Uh, okay. Uh, it says here, uh, uh, a reverent, also a doomy, gloomy state of mind. Uh, also a plantative melody, hence a tune. Oh, such wise words. What a verse. Eight. Ooh, it works. <gasps> it's working, it's working, it's working. What did it do? Um, let me explain it to you. Well, it's one <laughs> of these spells that is very powerful. Uh, very powerful. Well, of course. And it, it, it protects you from evil. So if evil comes at you, you're protected. Ooh. That is uh, actually pretty, pretty, pretty on the nose right there. That's pretty much the spell. Told you it's good. Uh, Told you. So who determines what's evil, though? Uh, the deities. Just, okay, okay. Yeah. The voice the in gods. the sky me, me and the other gods, we decide. That the, guy. Oh, the great voice in the sky. <laughs> that dude yeah. right there? Yeah. He determines yeah. all that stuff. Yes. Pretty much. So anything with an evil alignment will have to make all attacks at disadvantage. And BT dubs, most undead things are evil alignment. I'd say most things down this here. Is, this yeah. is known. Okay, this is known. it's safe to assume that it's pretty, it's pretty fucking evil down here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and I think as Pops is saying this incantation and as the holy light of Saloon starts to fill him and fill you all up, um, you start to hear that shuffling kind of coming down from above, getting closer and closer, and you hear like a Sounds like someone needs help. You see, uh, yeah, you know what? That's a probably a good way to describe it. As you see people who had been hanged and their ropes cut, walking kind of uh, crab walk spider-like up and down the ropes of their other people who are hanged with their ropes still attached to the ceiling. So it's a bunch of undead hanged people who are now untethered coming down at you guys from above. Guys, can I be completely honest with you? Yes. This is the most disturbing thing I've ever seen in my life. This is so creepy! <laughs> I will not be frightened by such horrible creatures. I grab my bonker and I stance up. Are they coming right for us? They're coming right for you, and there are 12 of them. Ooh. And oh. I'm going to need you to roll a d20 and beat a six to see if you can act before they do. Let's do it, boys. Just on, may your inspirational strength at me strength. Yeah. Just on. I roll. Oh, what? What the what? Fuck? What's going on? Oh, what? No fucking way. What the, what the hell? You know what? Actually, you rigged. Fucking and you know what? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. No, I'm, I'm confiscating those fucking dice at the end of this shit. I'm yeah. <laughs> so inspirational. <laughs> Get it, dude. God, he's been getting Chris what the on fuck? <laughs> that is so busted. Attack. That is so busted. Oh my god. <laughs> Just on like you're like oh overpowered, dude. Like you're like really good. What this, can I say, boys? This motherfucker strong? I'm good at what I do. I'm glad I found you. Easy does <gasps> it. Damn. Good shit, so, human. So what did I do? The way this works, because it was you had so much preparation over these things that they're they think they're being all sneaky and creepy and spooky coming down the the dead bodies um they're getting ready to kind of jump on you but you were so fucking ready you 
prep a big whirlwind strike and as they jump down on you you are already mid swing whirlwind. and you deal 20 damage to five of them and send them ragdolling into the darkness Whoa, damn. Damn. Dude, nice. easy does it boy nice swing oh you're strong just spinning oh! <laughs> Sitting every single one of them. Father just rib cages flying. <laughs> Damn. Uh, and there are seven left. And now I will let uh, uh, um, Damian and Lloyd take their turns as the. Um, what did I call these things? Uh, uh, creepers? Fucking remember. Creepers. <laughs> Crab uh, the, walking the fucking, <laughs> the fucking creepers are were so unprepared. You guys all get to take turns before they do. Yo, just on. Good shit. I'm gonna follow up. I think I can make out a couple more of them. I'm gonna try to do a rapid fire shot. Do y'all take out hell yes. Yes. boy? Uh, what is the answer? Roll? Uh, roll twice. Take the better of the two. You have to beat a six. Ooh. Okay. Not too bad. Shit. See you, bro. Ooh. All right. See if you can crit. Okay. Crit. Roll. Okay. See if you get that crit. Can you get higher? Sure. Let's go. What? You gotta be kidding up. me. Oh my God. God. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Shit. Fuck me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, Holy shit! Let's go, <laughs> what a flurry of arrows! So many arrows came flying by. <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, I think it, it legitimately sounds like a fucking chain gun going off. What and is that? So many arrows. <laughs> Just go flying in all directions. Nat 20 clubs. <laughs> Nat 20, dude. What I'm, that's what I'm talking it about. Feels good. Feels good. And Rolling all this Nat 20s. Feels good. Yeah. <laughs> you bury five arrows into each of five fucking uh, creepers and deal 20 damage to five of them. Huzzah! Ooh. Well, Take that, God. creepers. Now, as Kate there are now two left. You think you can handle the remaining two? Uh, I've only been training my entire life for this moment. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's two left. What are you going to do? I take out my staff and I know where they are. And I begin casting Sacred Flame! Oh, oh shit. shit. And I'm like, okay. there's only two of them. This is a perfect opportunity for him to get his feet wet with yep. some action. Take Let this. the boy. He's, you damn feet, he's feeling quite, quite, <laughs> he's feeling quite <laughs> charismatic now. I think now's a good chance for him to take out his, his opportunity on, on these the two measly flame. corpses. Shall scorch you from this realm! Can we get a triple on that 20 on this on this group of ads? <laughs> All right, you can roll twice. Two triple take the nat higher, 20. The, 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 take the higher of the two. You have to beat a five because they are super weak against holy damage. Yo! A roll of the dice. All right. All Seven. Right. Okay, okay, technically. Okay. You roll again. Second base. <laughs> and it's four. Four. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two of them. What did he Come do? Come on. We took out five each. <laughs> so <laughs> this <laughs> Pops is screaming <laughs> and the, the light of Saloon fills him and channels into the staff as this streaking <laughs> bolt of holy flame comes and absolutely incinerates one of the creepers. Boom, bitch. Well done. Nice. He's rocking out with that stick like Dude, a chip yes. on a guitar. He got one. Did you guys see that? He got him. Well done. We're proud of you. It was like a flamethrower when I cast. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Cleric. Not bad. Yes. 
Your confidence <laughs> is growing. You feel like it would have been way more cool if you guys hadn't fucking killed five each right before that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing my part. It's a tough act to follow. <laughs> You're doing all right, though. We like the uh, effort. Yeah, yeah. You know? You'll get it. Um, and the one remaining creeper just fucking launches itself at Pops. <gasps> <laughs> and it rolls a natural one. Yes! Uh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, oh, clear it. So does it just like jump and accidentally get impaled by a stick or something? I, I, I That's myself. exactly what happens. <laughs> yeah. It's like like Pops has just finished channeling the giant fucking bolt of fire, and he's still like in his casting pose as this thing leaps up and tries to get him and impales itself on his fucking staff. And Pops just screams like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that was close. <laughs> get it off, get it off, get it off, yeah. get it off. Get it get away it from me. I use the bonker and kind of fish it off his stick. Yeah, and it's not totally dead. Like, it impales itself, but it's not totally dead, so it's still kind of, like, squirming and grabbing at his face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to finish it off. He's sort of on the ground, squirming in pain. Help me! And I, I, oh, sort yeah. of, I sort of see this opportunity. I, I flicked it off of the stick, yeah, when ah. I was just on the ground. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. This is like the perfect opportunity. It's like those carnival, uh, the, the hammer on the oh, carnival gross. things. And his oh. head's just there. And it's just a yeah. slam down. With, and it's got nowhere to go. It's just on the ground. So yeah. I, I choose okay. to just wide stance it, arms straight out in front of me, and I'm just like laughing with the guys. Like I'm just gonna see, like like cover yourselves because this brain matter is oh, gonna yeah. That was a Gallagher moment. Yeah. I, I can't watch yeah. this. I can't yeah. watch this. this is a, yeah, I give him the Gallagher bong. Hold dude. on, let me let me cover my yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, that's why, punch already. that's why I have an extra shawl for this very moment. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what do I need to roll? Go ahead. Do it. So you, you roll. It's a killing blow no matter what, and it's just a degree of how gory it gets. All right. Let's roll the <laughs> dice. I stand before him. Yeah. <laughs> just brains on everybody. No. God. It's my new cloak. Oh, oh. Ah, ah. His head exploded <laughs> like a grape. You know, just on. Uh, you don't have to just make a mess every time you do these things. Why not? I'm just saying it's uh, it's a little bit more civilized, I dignified. Would, if I you would will. I would say that, but I've been bloodthirsty before. It's real satisfying. Hey, you know, when in the dungeon, you know, do you as guys the dungeon see me when does. I blast that thing with the holy fire? It's like. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. Blast. Beautiful. All right. Is there any undead here left? All right. uh, on to the as next. You Scan with your remaining detect evil and undead. You get the sense that there are no more undead in this room. Boys, However, good news. There's no more undead in here. Oh, cool. oh thank God. We can but, be at ease. <laughs> but coming up, yeah. what? there are hundreds. <gasps> So, uh, would you you guys want good news or bad news? Bad news first. Bad, bad news, please. Okay, good, because there's no good news. Okay. Oh. Uh, there's just, like, <laughs> potentially thousands of just abominations. More of those things? Maybe worse. If they're just like that, then what's the big deal? We'll just roll some Natty 20s and do some Whirlwinds and shit. That was just... Actually, yeah, you know what? That I'm was just not... a baker's dozen, though. Well, what do you... What's up ahead? Like an army. Shouldn't be too bad. Feeling pretty confident. I mean, after a Natty 20, Natty 20 Club, you know what I'm saying? It's easy. Shit. Easy. I, uh, I clench my book very close to my chest, and I, uh, I'm getting very somber. <laughs> <laughs> and I just okay. brush the dust off my chest, and I walk confidently, my chest up. I kind of hear Boyd's uh, <laughs> call of, we should be careful. I'm just like, whatever, and I just start walking forward, too. And I try like, to keep up with him. With, with Damien. <laughs> we start walking. Perfect. <laughs> So, we will end on this note. Ooh, I like Cliffhanger. It. Our three Jeez. heroes venture forth, clearing the second level of the Dungeon of Darkest Souls. And as they approach the staircase leading to the third level, they hear something interesting. It sounds like ballroom music. 
And as they climb down the stairs towards this haunting ballroom music, they see something they weren't expecting. It's not a dark dungeon at all. No, it's a bright ballroom with red cloth, golden chandeliers, and hundreds of skeletons performing a macabre ballroom dance. Oh and that is where we will pick up next time. Woo! Hey, good. There it is. <laughs> Yo, Tech, that was awesome, dude. <laughs> Tech, thank you very thank you much. So much. Oh, Tech. man. Thank you so much, bro. That was magical, dude. Holy shit, that was a lot of fun, guys. Oh, my God. That Holy fuck. So fucking cool the entire time. Loved it, man. Oh, Enjoyed man. every second of it. Thank you for taking your time. I know we recorded this, but we'll air it live. Everybody, make sure you're following Tech. He's amazing at this. He's yes. incredible. Oh, Without him, this would Thank have been you guys. awesome. Show him some love, man. Um, <laughs> so fun. Thanks again to everybody who supported the charity stream and unlocked this goal and made it possible. Yes, thank we're you. Gonna, we're going to keep doing it so long as you guys like watching it. Um, you. Yes, love you, Tech. Thank you guys. Thank, this you, was so yes, much. thank you guys love, so much. Bro. This has been so much fucking fun. <laughs> Until oh, next yes. time, boys. Keep your ale nearby and the bonkers in your heart. And we'll see you next time. Huh? Later, everybody. We'll see you guys. Dude, this was so fun, man. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, shout out, as always, to everyone on the... There it was, boys. Hey. There you go. There it was. Episode one. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you had fun. We had a lot of fun with that one. Oh, it was so fun, man. Um, God, it was it was a blast. Tech killed it. You guys killed it. It was fucking awesome. That was literally our first time really doing D and D. Um, so fun, man. A so fun. A different take on the traditional D and D, I think. Mm hmm. We did this one, but um, yeah, we appreciate you guys watching. Um, yeah. Uh. There wasn't many technical issues there. There was like a few times where I had to fix like some sound stuff. Yeah, but of, I saw a couple people saying that it is the audio glitch, but we got it to work towards yeah, yeah, the yeah. end. Yeah, we fixed it halfway. Yeah, yeah we, we fixed it. Yeah, we realized. I realized what the problem was. Like halfway in there, you kind of saw me clicking around. I think I fixed it. But now we know moving forward. I was expecting more troubleshooting, but it actually turned out pretty flawless. We only had a few errors, and then um, in terms of just playing the game, started to kind of understand it. We talked to tech afterwards, and. Uh, yeah, I like the direction it went in. I like the way it, went, yeah. it ran. Everything was great. Everything was fun. But, um, uh, you guys saw the backgrounds, the music. You heard the music too, man. That's what we were talking about. Justin put in that Justin work, that pre-production, man. Pre man. Yeah. It really set the atmosphere for everything. It made us. It made it a lot easier for us to get into the role play and the improv. So thanks, boy. It was, it was fun. It was fun doing that. I, Killed I, the, it. Especially, uh, I didn't get more situational stuff like pops with the book. Oh, doing this. It's so fun when you, when yeah, you do man. something. That shit was killing me. Yeah. Oh, it's so fucking fun doing that, dude. Um, so many nat twenties. Yeah, you were. You guys I were know, rolling right? crazy at the end. I loved it though, cause we got to show <laughs> off that uh, that crit screen. I love that shit, man. Dude, crit getting to screen. do, getting to go over there and do your critical move is shit is so funny. Even if it's just like to open the door. <laughs> it's just the <laughs> just to pick up pops. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, man. major shout out to TechSmith. Dude, that was so much fun. We've been playing this for such a long time and to have such a DM that was had so much passion and love for what we were doing, it was infectious. And so fun. Yeah, it, yeah. it really was like a fun place to just play around and be goofy and stuff. But 100%. now now that the whole like the way it goes, the way it works, the 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 functionality of everything's down, now it won't take so long to cook up more episodes. Um, but yeah, I do like putting in that work to find cool backgrounds to find cool now I need to get more effects It'd be cool to have some effects more on yeah. there, but mm -hmm. uh, having it work audio as well as visual Mostly visual just because I know we're doing this on twitch. It's fun to I, I like hitting the scene switch and seeing everybody in chat go oh. Yeah <laughs> and Also, <laughs> Louie's written into the lore Yeah, so you guys heard big Lou. There's room there's, there's, for there's guest plans, spots and plans things for him. We'll have to see in the next one, but appreciate you guys watching today. Appreciate the VOD gang for watching this. Mm -hmm. Tech Smith, as always, and the boys had so much fun. Expect more. Um, that's it for us today, though, so we're going to head on out of here. I do like yeah. this time slot, though, the Thursday day. That's fun. Uh, maybe not every week 
maybe every other week or maybe month. I don't know. Yeah. It depends on it depends on you guys too. So I mean, so long as the the stuff is ready to do it, we got the backgrounds and the general and text music. availability. Yeah, as well. text yeah, available. That's a that's huge part of it. Yeah. yeah. We got the music on board. I'm fucking ready to go, dude. This was a fucking blast. So so, so good, fun. Man. So glad that you guys liked it. Classy Milton showing up would be awesome. You never know, dude. Hey, I got hey, some ideas. Hey, I got possible. some ideas for some really cool collab shit to go down on this, man. Yeah. There's some really cool opportunities. Um, but uh, shouts to the VOD gang. VOD gang, we'll see you next time. Before um, we go, we and have to give shout-outs. Let's, let's yeah. shout-out everybody. A couple people supporting your boys while we were doing let's that. Let's shout-out everybody who dropped some love. And also, shout-outs to the Patreon. Uh, Patreon kind of helps with everything. So thank you guys for being on the Patreon. You know, if you're mm. bored right now and you need something to watch, the Patreon will help you find that content you need. Literally yeah. years worth of content on Literally. there. Literally. That, yeah. that funded a lot of the, just the time going into fishing out backgrounds and music tracks and yeah. days mm. of editing and stuff. And the, th the, the intro is just a placeholder. I'm going to add some more effects and stuff and music and make that bigger and better but uh we also like that name too roll it out a little yeah. dub it out kind yeah. of name to it or we'll work that title in a little bit more but god damn you guys were popping off during that um thank you guys so much dude yeah, yeah. it really means a lot to us uh we put a lot into it and uh to see you guys' response was really amazing thank you mm -hmm. guys so much for all the love and support best community ever. community on bike long live roll it out yeah long Hell live yeah. roll it out so Long live, live, roll it out. Let's see, we're going to shotgun these real quick. My boy Robo gifted all those subs while we were doing it. Poe Lander, Big Wave, all you guys gifted these subs. Cannon Fodders with the 100 bitums. Thank you, Cannon Fodder. Uh, Loader Incognito with the resub. Robobike, another gifted sub. Thank you, Brandon Robo. Acting Dumb with a resub for two months. Thank you, man. Bobber with the resub. Just B with the resub. Hoggy Bank resub. Spicy Pepperonis with the Djibouti Baby. Thank you, man. Mika Dilio, 37 months. Appreciate you, man. Thank Kurt you. Reynolds, 16 months. Orgix, Crinkalicious. Thank you guys for the resub love. What that boy came in with some 316 bitties. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Idris, Apollo, Kane Toad, Turrican. Idris, what up, dude? All you guys sub love. Turrican's a new Prime sub, by Thank the way. You, Don't miss out on those watch parties, bro. Brand new. Sweet Texas gal gifted a sub over. Thank you, gal. Texas. Ding Dong Slap with the 41 months. Thank you, Ding Dong. And my boy Frank Stallone with the 20. Uh -oh. Yo, Frank. Thank Bonk you so much, Frank. man. Frank, Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Low five with 100 bitties. Thank you, man. Nerevor, Juice, the Batman, Robobike, another gifted sub. So much resub love. Uh, Buff Bunny, Wiley, or Willy, Erleon, Kronos gifted some subos. Kill Pain, Random Assassin gifted some subs. Thank you, guys. Wriggle Mania with a 500 bitums. Yo. And then put the back to back sub donuts right after that. God damn, dude. Thank you, Wriggle Mania. And then DC Gato. Let me hold on a second. Whoa, hold whoa, whoa, on we'll a second. Back. Wait a minute. DC Gato, god damn, oh dude. Thank you so much, Gato. DC Gato dropping 100 on the DD. Wait a Last minute. Last minute, but thank you for the awesome DD. Best fucking show. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Thank you so much, man. Um, whew, DC Gato. DC Gato. <laughs> Hell any yeah, any fix star alert. Thank you, man. Dude, Gato. Dude, Gato. Thank you so much, brother. Yo, Gato. man. Gato. Glad Thank you liked you it, man. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, we got more of it planned, dude. Uh, we got enough on loaded up on episode one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there, there we go. It is. Now hey, it's it double. It. There we go. It deserves it, it, twice. it is twice on the way out. She she got to. <laughs> we got enough planned on the first episode for like three episodes because we yeah. were going, we were enjoying every scene and milk and just doing all the shit with all the role play you yeah. don't expect. Mm -hmm. It's cool setting it up and then you just see where it goes. Oh shit. DC Gato's blowing it Why up. Why not? Hey. DC Gato. He's Again. like, I'm going to check my bank account. That's, that's only just one donut, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think you're I don't, I don't want you to think you're getting yeah. busted it's, open. It's on our end. Don't Thank worry you. about Yo, it. Yo, Decrepit, what's up, man? Got to know what's next, dude. There's some really cool shit locked and loaded. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of just co-working with tech and just getting backgrounds. But I have no idea what he's got planned. It's really cool uh -huh. sitting there and just seeing what he unravels. Dude. Also, if yeah. you guys are fans of D&D, &D, follow TechSmith on Twitch. Mm-hmm. His, guys. his Monsters Are Real playthroughs are fucking great. Milton's on there. It's big stuff on there. Show my Check boy TechSmith some love, man. His stream pops off. Hell yes. Beyond Infinite. Thank you for the 1738. Beyond. Can't Thank wait you. for more. I can't wait to do more. That's that, Once we got done doing that, that session, 
I was like, man, I can't wait to get in there again. Yeah, man, it did not feel like three hours. That shit flew yeah. by. We sat here and pretty much watched it with you guys. Yeah. It was cool yeah. looking at chat, seeing what you guys were saying. And uh, it was interesting. I can say for me watching it, I'm like thinking all these things I would add next time. I'm like, oh, now I get the rhythm of it more. <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing, too. I was like, oh, I should have said this, should have said that. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Next time we know now what to do. So I, I think it's just one of those things every time you do it, it'll get a little bit better. But that was yeah. pretty much our first time but playing D&D. For, for first time. I was, you know, trying to keep I it going. it was pretty good for first time. Yeah. So fun. I think uh, for our approach to D&D, for like the hardcore people out there, we wanted to take it from a place where if you never played D&D or if you know what, what it is, you can still see what's going on and understand what's going on. And then number one, just have fun. Mm -hmm. We're not meta gaming. We're not doing any of that. We're just doing it for the yeah. fun of it that's what's cool about tech to he tech's super down for us to improv even the creative decision making on the fly yeah. yeah like sometimes i was checking myself like i was like oh did the ghoul jump and get stabbed on your staff and he's like yeah that's exactly what happened mm -hmm. i was like oh afterwards it's like oh is that power gaming or whatever but he's like no just fuck it if you guys want to he's like if you guys want to recommend anything fucking say it yeah he's like you guys giving me ideas up here i like it so <laughs> i love that he has that collaborative mindset of we're just trying to fucking have fun at the end of the day it's just storytelling you know richard queso thank you so much man that means so, a lot i saw a uh, dinner man ask a good question he said is it gonna be live from here on out are you guys are gonna yeah. pre-record yeah we'll do it live um moving forward i was worried there would be a whole lot more uh troubleshooting going on and i didn't want to be doing that live in a hot mm. sweaty costume but it worked out perfect also we didn't know what to expect so true, true. maybe there was a 10 percent in the back of our mind like what if this shit ain't fucking cool? uh, yeah <laughs> but yeah. as soon as we were done we we're like of course it was fucking fun man mm -hmm. and anytime you do something for the very first time it's a little we're a little bit like i don't know a little anxious yeah. and it's a there's a huge audience for it so why does lloyd want to learn the resurrection spell well then you have to you have to watch man there's lore dude no I got, just, I just lore, no just tell me ending just tell me right, ending right now just okay, tell so just the tell ending him. of all this is gonna be no you gotta watch <laughs> no man. this stuff we all have up our sleeves of our own characters that are total that will be total surprises yeah i got stuff on my guy uh, yeah i'm not telling i'm not even yeah. telling tech i want it to be a secret until it comes out and the cool thing too is that tech has so many good surprises for us like the sora shit the Sora that side quest, <laughs> we had no idea. He didn't even tell us that he was going to do that, but uh, it worked out so great. It was so fun, man. Yeah. So fun. Yeah, you pay close attention. You'll see characters go away and make their way back. And text, I was, I was just telling Tech on Discord while we were playing this. I was like, dude, I love his voices for the characters. Yeah. Like the Mim and Jim and all those guys. Uh, so good. I, yeah, I love that like, shit, man. Like, Tech gets our sense of humor, 100%. Yes, very man. much. Riggle Mania, think of the bits, dude. Beyond Infinite, dropping at th uh, 1738. Lo-Fi, Samsa, Lo -fi, thank you. thank you so much. Malcolm, hey. Samuel, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you, thank you. Faceless, thank you, dude. Yo, Faceless, Faceless with a 20, man. Thank you so much. Love uh, you, dude. I like Samus's. For a guy that's only ever heard of D&D, it was perfect. Makes me want to do it myself. Cheers. That is... Wow. If I was ever fishing for a compliment, it's that. Right. Uh, that sums up what we were trying to accomplish so eloquently. Thank a you so exactly much, Sam. Exactly what we wanted. Uh, That's yeah. awesome, man. Like, growing up, and I've always heard people playing it, and, you know, it had that stigma of being super dorky. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is. We're making it extra dorky. But yeah. there's a way to do everything your own way. And that shit is, when you really boil it down, it's just hanging out with your friends and telling a story and doing improv, which yeah. is just fun to do with your friends uh beyond infinite thank you dude 19 month or um yeah pops learn to conjure stuff oh, I, I have stuff that they don't even know that i have in my back pocket i have stuff that tech doesn't even realize i'm gonna do yeah what? Uh, yeah, secrets I, and i i if anyone's metagaming it's probably me <laughs> we'll honestly see. uh so hey yeah. man whatever works we'll yeah. have to see but yeah i've always heard people having so much fun with this thing and I've heard group, but I was worried about group size too. I was like, is three going to be enough? Dude, how you know, slow the, the, how how much we were, how much time was taken at each interaction. I was like, oh no, three's a lot. Yeah, I thought about after that. I was like, dude, if we had Louie with us too, it probably would have been like four hours. Imagine if you had three other people here too. Well, oh be man, crazy, that's a man. lot. Yeah. Yo, Mim, Jim, and Tim scene. Hey, that would have that, that, that yeah. been a three hour mm -hmm. thing right there. Just that first part would have been insane. Mm -hmm. So three is like good, though, but man. we got. We got room for we got room for uh, uh we got room cameos for a couple and, more and and like extra party members to hop on so we'll have to we'll have to you'll have to tune in and find mm -hmm. out what happens next 
um i think i'm gonna add a bunch of, like sound effects and stuff too for for like when we're in battle yeah like, yes. swords yeah. swords hitting each other and like yes. arrow yeah. like shit Fire. like that yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna add that to my stream Fire, deck. water that kind of stuff just I to wanna... help help tell the story just that much more better and we gotta we're gonna redo our obs which is the system that changes all the scenes and everything so yeah it'll be a little bit of time before we're pretty much ready to do it but probably another week and a half or so we'd be like good to go yeah. it won't be too long for yeah. the next episode. yeah shouldn't have to wait too long but i want to get the obs just running a little bit smoother i don't want that audio crackle that was happening a little bit it's because the computer's literally like holy shit you're doing a discord call and all these sound effects and all these visual effects <laughs> it starts to kind of crack it on itself you know yeah um but yes dude so fucking fun thanks again guys for watching beyond infinite thank you dude faceless and Cane Toad dropping a billion bits. Dude, Cane Toad, that's a Thank lot of you. bits, brother. Thank you, Faceless. Thank you guys for the bitums. Saw a lot of compliments on the music too. I'm gonna try to dig up some more, so if there's more variety. I want, I want just fucking can, folders and folders. Of can music. we play our themes? Because I like my theme. Uh, we all picked out our own individual. Theme yeah, we picked songs. out themes. Yeah. I like Pops' theme too. It's really. Yeah. It's just so pops. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Yeah, Tech, I was wondering what that was going to be like for you, because uh, Tech wasn't able to hear our music, but I think we figured out a way to get that working next time, Tech, because I think it would, even for him, it would paint that picture more of what we're feeling and doing. He was playing, like, his own music uh, the whole time, so oh, okay. for him, it was kind of a new experience to watch it with all the music. I saw him freak out. Tech, I saw you light up when uh did the Kingdom Hearts, the Kingdom Hearts stuff, but, and I <laughs> yeah. had all that music. I forgot you were going to do, you mentioned you might do something like that. And I had the Derek Dirtman soundtrack of where I got into the yep. Kingdom Hearts lore. So perfect. And so I was like, dude, it works so good for that. So perfect. <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. So that's Pops' theme. Here's mine. I got the, I think yours is Tactics. Mine's Final Fantasy Tactics Pub. Mine's Final Fantasy XI. Yeah, the intro song. A uh, song which brings back memories. So many games in Final Fantasy are this genre of just medieval. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, they all work. There's so many game soundtracks we can rip and no one's gonna fucking get too upset on YouTube or anything. Kane yeah. Toad, first it's live stream, long time patron. Wow. Thank you so Kane, much, dude, man. Kane, thanks for joining us live, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Kane. Holy shit, dude. Dropping a billion oh, bits, dude. Yeah. Um, this is a good theme. I could like see you just strutting down the road with this bonker over your shoulder. Hup, hup, hup. Yeah, I got some back the back end lore on my character and the kingdom he comes from, and makes okay. more on what this is and all that kind of stuff, and some surprises along the way. Um, Mohihi, thank you, dude, for the ten months. Thank you so much, dude. He says perfect DM, Mohihi. ten out of ten. There you I go. Couldn't agree more, man. Mm -hmm. Ling Ling. Hey, Damn, man. I missed it. it. Was a long day. Can't wait to watch it. Vod gang. And uh, I see a lot Vod of people gang. asking, uh, will this be on YouTube? Yes, we will yes. upload yep, the yep. Uh, the D and D to YouTube. Probably this exact recording of it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and then here's uh, Damon's theme is so good. <laughs> that trap remix. You yeah. know, hip hop forest remix. Welcome to the forest. Who's fucking tonight? Who's fucking tonight? <laughs> Shoot my <laughs> shot. <laughs> she. There's a part of this song where I heard Mario's killer goes. Wah, 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 <laughs> wah, yeah. Wah, 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 yeah. Wah. Oh shit. Let's try to find some medieval Final Fantasy trap remix songs. Hey, there's yeah. Louie. Louis, Louis. I, I hope you got to watch because this was a lot of fun, man. Lu I missed it. Louis, did you see it? Yeah, this part heard Mario go. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that forest maze remix. Dude, the forest maze was my shit. That's I knew. So good. I, the second I heard, I said that's my theme. This is so good. It's it's funny too because when we're here, I mean, we can kind of turn and see each other, but you know, it's either we're looking at the feed of what we're doing, we're looking at tech, or we kind of turn and look at each other. Mm -hmm. When you're doing the meditating, me meditation shit, I couldn't really see your face, but on the camera, yeah, so oh. on the playthrough, I was like, oh shit, that's so <laughs> fucking funny, dude. <laughs> so fucking funny. Oh, this was a blast, dude. I had a great time. I was yeah. able to watch the whole thing. I was like, hooked. Yeah, there, yeah there's I a was couple, like, I want to see where this goes. A couple times just re-watching it. I was there. I knew what happened and just re-watching it. It was making me crack <laughs> up, man. <laughs> Like yeah. when, when Pops got his first nat 20 with the stick, oh, the, yeah. the stick kung fu shit. Oh, oh my god. Pops with the nat 20 screen is Ooh. so good. So much cloth flying around. And <laughs> hair. So much cloth Wild hair. hair. Watching that hair dance around the top of his head. You guys like my hair? I was glad everybody was able to hit a nat 20 and go over to that screen. Yeah, I was surprised we all got nat 20s. Yeah. Uh, that was, I, I thought one of us was 
gonna get like all of them and you kind of did uh, but i'm glad we all got our chance to mm -hmm. and it's all automated i saw some people asking uh what is it roll 20 what's it called yeah roll? this is roll 20. it's roll 20 website yeah 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 and they have a feature a lot a lot of people you see play uh d and uh, d, d they use it and there's like a map layout i don't even know if a lot of them use it but there's a 3d dice thing so we just i made a blank white background and then i keyed out the color white on obs so i just captured where that dice that 3d dice comes out and i was like this is perfect we don't have to get some webcam here yeah. on the table it's yeah. gonna look all shitty a 3d representation it's just a click that we could all emote that we're throwing <laughs> dice and it's so easy to see i'm so i was yeah. so happy once we figured out how to get the dice to work that's when i was like this is gonna be fucking awesome yeah dude. that that's sick because other D and D's usually just do word of mouth, right? Like they roll it off screen. They're like, oh, "I got a 20. I got net 20." No, what they do is I got they, a 20. They do the thing and they go, "Okay, you got to roll 17 one-sided dice." And you go, like, "Okay," and so you roll, and they're like, "One, three, yeah, seven. Oh, it can slow 12. down. It can slow yeah. down campaigns 18? a lot. Twenty-two. <laughs> my whole my whole thing with everything is how do we make this fast, yeah. visually yeah. easy to see. And as fast as possible, as simple as possible. Yo, take out the math part of it, please. <laughs> take out the math. <laughs> and Tech, uh, I think uh, we have that extension. I saw a lot of you guys saying, oh, the extension's really cool. I think maybe next time it'll be more like live, real time going, or it's yeah. like character sheet. Thing. I can, I, 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 I have to talk with Tech about that. I don't want to, you know, give Tech more work. I think if it's even just the character sheet that you guys could that's, see. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the most if you, And for those of you who are like, what? If you hover over the feed, even, on desktop. even right now, right? Desktop. On desktop. Top, yes. there's a extension on Twitch and you can see our little portraits and you can click them and see yeah. like our characters stats because we want it to be super easy just to watch but the hardcore people can click through and look into this stuff as far as you want yep yep trying to make it for everybody including the hardcores that's all I know tech. that they care about that stuff that's tech he set that stuff up. yeah he's yep. a genius and so he's doing all the back end stuff and just making it simple for us to digest and have fun with live yeah this is kind of like the the Derek and Merlin of Dungeons and Dragons, right? Where it's just right. the roll one 20 sided die, right? right? Mm -hmm. That's where we're trying to keep it as uniform as possible. It's homebrew. Simple, simple, simple. But it's fun. Yeah. Just simple and fun. Well, boys, I think that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Saw a lot of you guys popping off. I'm glad you did because we had a fucking yeah. blast. So much fun. Until next time, huh? Thank you guys so much. Until next time. Love you guys. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Lady y'all. Until next time. But the journey continues. Dungeons and dragons. And we ended up in a haunted ballroom. The fuck's that all going to be about? Dude, cliffhanger, though? Yo, I'm challenging Oof. one of those skeletons to a dance-off. Cliffhanging, dude. A crypto dance off? That's right. Ooh, looks like uh, our boy Milty. That needs going. to happen. Let's send you guys over to Milty. Milton he, D Pike he One. He at us. We need to show him love as well. Show this man love. Get in there and hop it up. Hop, hop, Let's hop it up. Raid this man hard. He raided us. We're raiding him. Give him some love. Hit him full force with some hops. For those, yeah, for those bitch squatters that came over like, oh, D&D. &D. And then you're like, oh, he's Milton's live again. We're sending you right back to him. Get <laughs> ping-ponged back and forth, back and forth. Get ping-ponged. <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody start hopping. Go! Hop, 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 hop.